Potato. Fuck no. you, kid. Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Pathfinder. My game, not Jason's game. Not to be confused. Anyway. With Jason's many Yeah, games. because Jason's games are competent. <gasps> oh, nice. come on. Rocks fall, Shots fired. Rocks fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ping pong is a new partner yeah, no. now. Okay. I'm kidding. Jason's game will just as competent as yours. I will do the recap. Okay. Uh, last week, we finally made it to Cube Boy. And, <coughs> however, uh, before, I think it was the day before we made it, we spotted a campsite on the side of the river. And it had been trampled, and there were corpses lying about. So we pulled over and checked it out to see if there were any survivors. And there were four men who were dead. They were all brothers. Uh, if I remember correctly, their names were Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, that sucks, ghost. Family names go. <laughs> and their last name was Ghost. That's right. Um, and... Their their campsite had been trampled by dinosaurs, and inside one of the tents we discovered a chest, which Bing Bong broke open with the butt of her spear, and inside the chest there was a key and a very odd magic gem that we could not um, identify. And then no matter Mira, how we just want knowledge arcana. Yes, so it is obviously something quite powerful. Um... And Nira discovered a journal in another tent that said that the men were brothers and they had set off just like a day or two before in search of the lost city of the Dinosaur King. And uh, we packed their bodies into their canoes and took them back to the city for their family. And then that night we were attacked by Ah, uh, I forget what kind of dinosaur Allosaurs. they were. Allosaurs. Oh. Um, And they, strangely, um, left the bodies alone and went straight for the crew on deck. And we fought them all off. Um, and I think everyone survived pretty much intact for that. Though Bing Bong decided at one point to shove Nero down a flight of stairs. It's not a flight of stairs. There's like four or five of them at tops. And she, and she hit her head in. And she hit her head and took damage. Oh, yeah. I healed her. Very, very light damage. Um. So, after just, you know, destroying the Allosaurs, we made it safely to port in Kibwe. And we met the parents <clears throat> of Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde Ghost. To deliver the bodies of their sons back to them. The parents were and named we discovered Mrs. Ghost and Ghost Dad. Yes. <laughs> Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> we discovered that they were the only children of that family. And so elderly Mrs. Ghost and Ghost Dad are now childless. Um, and then... Oh, oh, then we found out that the swords and other items that we had picked off of the campsite were heirlooms. The swords were heirlooms to the ghost family. But Jing Bong and Bago had already sold them. So we had to go and find them, and we had an altercation with an orc, a half-orc, who had uh, bought one of the swords by the time we made it back to the store. But Nira paid him off and got the sword back. Uh, and then just let we... me handle it. Wild cough, wild cough. <laughs> yep. Yes. Um. She she avoided violence at that point. And then we found out that I guess a, a tomb had been discovered near Keyway, and that was where the the magical stone had come from. And there is a merchant in town who is selling them. So I. Th- I think that's about all. Yeah, that's everything. Oh, yeah. I think that's everything that happened last time. Yeah. 
that's everything I remember. <coughs> okay, we're going to start off in the inn. Let's just move over to the inn. And into the inn walks a strange looking character. Dun dun dun. Oh, already? Yeah, already. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bing Bong says, Oh, wow, look at that guy. And then she goes back to eating. All right, Tash. Charlie glances do? at the guy. Does he uh, look like a raccoon right now? No, no, no I'm in the one. Okay. All right, I, I walk up to the bar and say, or what time is it right now? What did you say? Morning time. It's no, it's um, it's around lunchtime. Oh well, Charlie okay. will have had things she will have said to the group in the morning though. Oh, okay. What stuff did you say okay. that previous morning? i right, sorry, but I. She talks to uh, Neil some and asks Neil if she's going to continue to travel with uh, Bing Bong in the West because Bing Bong talked about it last night seemed to be under the assumption that we'd all continue to stick together. Uh, at this time, I don't have any plans to break away from the group. Uh, it's my purpose for just traveling. So, unless something exceedingly desperate happens. I'll probably stick around. All right. <laughs> then Shala tells the group that she needs to talk to them all in private about something. Okay. The party moment. as a whole or each of us individually? Yeah, the party as a whole. She wants to talk to the party as a whole in a place where they won't be overheard. Mm she doesn't want rooms on the corner of an inn. Sure, yeah, you go back to we your don't. rooms upstairs. Okay, so we're in our rooms. Mm -hmm. I right, and she addresses them. And what she is says, it, uh, uh, I'm going to continue to stick with you. And I would like to continue to stay with you. It's nice to be around other people again. But there's something you should know if you travel with me. What, what is it? There is a chance, I'm not certain about this, there's a chance that I might... Is it the gas? We know about the gas. <laughs> no. Bago, we weren't going to tell her about the gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There might be a hag, a hag chasing after me. And her uh, eyes. Hag? And Hag, what does an get? ugly old woman have to do with anything? I mean, a hag is in one of the monsters. Like, could I roll sure, my knowledge dungeoneering on that? Uh, I'm sure you've heard of them. At least. Well, she's explaining to you what it yeah. is. Oh, okay, I'm sure you've probably okay. heard of them. The strange creatures, all female, kind of vaguely resemble. Uh, Humanoid, but very monstrous. Often oh, ugly. like my ex-wife. Sometimes they can disguise themselves as humans and uh, Shallow, not what? Seeing everything yet, but one of them might be after me. And if you continue to stick around me, that means you could come into danger for being around me. <clears throat> no, I think we had enough. I believe. Um, it was an Anna's hag, but her, <laughs> she seemed to have strange abilities. I don't really know exactly what she might be able to do. Hmm, that's interesting. That's quite interesting. Well, Shala, I think at this point, none of us are strangers to danger. So, we that will... That is true. But every and other danger you've chosen to walk into 
you chose to fight the T-Rex, you chose to take on the guard duty. I just, I can't continue to stick around you without, even, without you at least knowing about this. You should be able to choose whether you want to. Well, that's Faces. much appreciated. And if there's something as dangerous as a hag chasing you, it's probably good that you stick with us. Because we can protect you. Thank you. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, since there's an Anna's hag chasing after you, perhaps later we should go looking for it. I'm not totally sure if it's chasing after me or not. I I think I left it behind quite a while ago, but it might still be after me, so I don't know. But hmm, interesting. An an Anna's hag with strange abilities. You know, we could dissect it. Die. Dissect means kill, right? Yes, Bago. Dissect means kill. I figured that it has die in the name. It means something a little bit different than that, I think. Well, we'll have to kill it first, anyway, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, after all, if it has strange new abilities, one might wonder if you could harness them. mean like a horse? Yes, back like a horse. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Okay. All right. Nobody else has anything else to say. <laughs> if nobody else has anything else to say, we will fast forward to lunchtime when a strange figure walks oh, into the bar. Oh, what? No, I was just going to say, nobody, everyone just apparently looks well, at Bing Bong like, dissect? Are you fucking out of time? <laughs> Nira is, is a little unnerved. We're, but she's, we've learned she's that contemplating we the contemplating the harness abilities comment. The problem I, is, is that <laughs> we've learned that we cannot change your mind on anything. So we're not even going to start. I changed her mind once. I changed her mind just Nira last can. Uh, yeah, Just can. last Deere can. session, Deere when can, I said, I can't. when I said, no, I'm going the into the alley with you guys. <laughs> yeah, the trick is to pay me. Okay. Okay, so lunch time. Lunch time. Tank, what do you care to do when he walks into the bar? I, I walk up to the, uh, the bar. I sit in, sit in the chair. And I say to the bar bartender, whiskey, leave the bottle. Mm, nice. Oh, boy. Okay. Put your character at the bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. Does he give me the bottle? He gives you the bottle, oh, yeah. He, he charges you the correct amount of gold when he gives you the bottle. Yeah, I give it to him. And then I just start downing the bottle. Okay. Is anybody going to go over and talk to him? No, he kind of seems like he no. wants to be alone. Okay, I okay hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll a uh, perception check about him. What do I notice about, his, uh, about him? Um, currently in human form, he doesn't look quite human. No, no, not about... Okay, what do I notice about his equipment? <clears throat> He's got a gun. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's all she uh. needs to know. <laughs> Wait. Hello, sir! What do you want? Might I interest you in a business proposition? Oh, um, I have a question before we continue any further. Mad Scientist is, uh, oh yeah, Lindis is summoned right now, right? Yeah, Lindis is summoned right okay. now. Okay. Right, just making sure. Okay. Like what? Uh, uh huh. 
What kind of business? Well, I, uh, my, uh, myself and my friends were looking to recruit an, uh, a new ally to our uh, group. And we were looking for someone with uh, certain explosive capabilities. And I'm like, not interested. And they go back to Oh, come on. Why not? Uh, I just, you know, have you ever spent long times with people? With a group of people? Why, yes, I have. In, fa uh, in fact, I love spending long, uh, long periods of time with people. It gets, you get to know them, <laughs> you learn so much about one another. And I think it's something that you would enjoy. Diplomacy. Uh -huh. Did you ever spend a year with, with a group of friends? Uh, okay, sorry, I didn't know. All right. <laughs> Let me roll. You can, oh, I beat okay. it. Oh, you beat me. Okay. Uh, like, <coughs> okay. I'd say, uh, I'd say, will you ever spend, spend like, a year with, with a group of people who you think are your friends, but then what, one day you get into a card game with one of them, and he accuses you of cheating? And then punches you in the face, and then you bite him, and then they throw you out. Wow, that sounds that sounds very interesting. And, and I would love specific. to hear. And, yeah, that sounds very interesting, <laughs> oddly specific, and I would love for you to tell my friends about it. And she like points at the the group that she's with. Shala okay, kind of waves. Yeah, and I, I, I look. Yeah, and I turn around and I look, and then I see like, uh huh, and those are. And then I see Lindis, and I'm like, "Okay." So you're willing to join us? <clears throat> like, I'll talk. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, hang on. Let me just pull up a chair. <laughs> okay. There's another chair. <laughs> Sits down next to Lindis. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Hello, sir. What might your name be? And what brings Jack. you to our table? Well, it seems your lady friend here is, wants me to join your group. Nira casts the glance at Big Bong and goes, Oh? Uh, yes. Uh, I think he would make a wonderful addition to our party. I mean, he looks so masculine and virile. Isn't that right, Lindus? Diplomacy? Uh... <laughs> Lindus agrees. Uh, no, actually, she doesn't. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I believe, I believe that a very I have rolled high enough to convince her. There's a very good reason why, which Zucchini should remember from the backstory. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, Lindus yeah. objectively this, agrees. I... <laughs> Linda subjectively agrees, yes. How many is that? Yeah, he's kind of masculine looking. <laughs> Maybe. She guesses and kind of shrugs. So, uh, what's your name? Who, uh, who are you saying that to? You. You. Me? To well, Shala. To, oh, Linda says. Oh, Linda. Linda. And then Shala also introduces herself as Shala and asks if you're a gunslinger. Yep. Like, I'll show you, and then I, <coughs> I uh, take out my gun, just show it to them. Mm. I, I look, I look, um, to, what's your character's name again? I didn't, uh... Tack. He tack. didn't tell you. I go to Tack. You don't know his name. He did, but... I mean, no, I he did. No, he did. Oh, oh, yeah, I did. Ah. Oh. So I see you are also versed in ranged combat. Uh, yep. Anybody else? Might, might I uh, see the gun? Uh, I don't. Oh, okay, <laughs> I I turn on the safety and give it to her. I'm like, okay, just don't drop it. I wasn't planning on it. You've got two of them, right, Tash? I'm gonna yep. do a knowledge engineering roll. Okay. 
Oh, uh, just, Jason. Just pick. What? Did you tell Lars about the thing with the headband? Uh, not yet. Oh, you should probably do that in the side chat. There we go. Oh, I'll take care of it. <coughs> I, I roll zucchini. Alright, um, you have rudimentary knowledge of how it works, and you notice that the safety's on. Okay. Oh, that's uh, quite the interesting weapon you have. Seems quite handy. And I hand it back to him. Thank you. Never understood much about those things, but they always intrigued me. Well, then... Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, Linda happens to mention that. You no, know, just last night, Bing Bong was saying that we need to add a gunslinger to our party. I bet that this meeting is destiny. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I just just keep staring. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> is the party going to discuss what things they have to get done today? Oh. Um, well, I suppose I will. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say that uh, I forgot <coughs> to hand over the journal to Mr. and Mrs. Ghost last night, so I was thinking of popping in uh, sometime today to hand it, to see if they want it. I mean, I'm not sure that they do, but it would be nice. And then maybe checking out the, um, the magic shop and... I believe there was something about a merchant. Well, since you're going to go do that, I believe we uh, uh, we can uh, we uh, you and I should go and talk to the merchant who is selling the sunstones mm -hmm. and ask yes. where he got them. I'm very intrigued by that. I ask, what's what's a sunstone? Okay, we explain what a sunstone is to him. Now he knows. Oh. Yeah, now you know everything <laughs> they know, which is diddly and squat. <laughs> well, we, no, we well, know, we know what about suspects. what sunstones are. It's just that these aren't sunstones. It's a stone, right? It's a nickname. Shala says she suspects it has something to do with and the dinosaurs like showing up in the uh, camp. I pull out the stone and show him. It's a nice rock. Yeah. Yeah, you were there when we got it. I, I was just saying that for no reason. That wasn't in character. No, it was in character. I think you said. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, Swift. I'd like to know what kind of properties it has, though. I have an idea. Sorry, I, I don't know. I don't know any magic, so... I can't help you. And you guys said something about a journal? <coughs> uh, yes. We found um, a, a site, a campsite, off the river a couple of days back. Uh, the occupants, unfortunately, were dead. But there was a, uh, a journal among their possessions. That, it only had one entry. But I was thinking of bringing it back to their parents in case they wanted it. Aw, uh, that's sad. And I pour one out for the dead adventurers. <laughs> How much have we had to drink at this point? B Bing Bong says, Tack, don't waste food, dear. <laughs> <coughs> like only my mother calls me dear. And, and then Very well, dear. Water. Bong. What? She calls everyone dear. She does. She does. True. I mean, you gotta have. Been... Okay, so uh, Bing Bong asks Tack if he would like to go with Dark to the docks to charter a boat, and or to see, check on the prices to charter a boat. 
I'm sorry, what am I doing? Busy work. You're going I... to the docks to get to hire a boat to go out. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll go. I don't I'll know why see. you guys want a boat. Because we're going to find the... It, okay, and then Bing Bong says that they've heard rumors of this lost city of the Dinosaur King, or whatever the fuck it's called, and they're going to, you know, go on a expedition to it and see what treasures they may find and adventure. And then my, my character thinks about this. He's like, yeah, you know what? I need an adventure. I'm in. Oh, welcome to the team. <laughs> okay. So who's so, going so, uh, welcome to the team. Uh, welcome I, I, to the team, Tack. Uh, now you and uh, now there is the small, uh, uh, small problem of your membership fee, which is of course two hundred gold. <laughs> there is no Plus membership out. fee. There's no membership Bluff. fee. Bluff. Very no. <laughs> Let me have this. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you know, you know, we all know there's no membership fee because we can instantly say that's a lie. In fact, <laughs> as a lawful. Good person, I will say it's a lie. Okay. Let me see if I fall for it. Yep, I fall for it. <laughs> and yeah, now I tell him because people Pac, have is... people have explicitly yeah, told him. Yeah, I'm just I'm just about to hand the money to him, and then you guys tell me that I'm like, yeah. King Bong <laughs> is simply joking. Okay, yes, it's a joke. Okay. Yes, of course, it's so, just so, a joke. Okay. Just a joke. <laughs> so, uh. Before we go anywhere, uh, there's something I'll have to show you guys. Oh. Phrasing. Your penis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, out of Can you say that in character? It's, 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 I'm it's, saying yeah, that yeah. in character. Yeah. Oh my out, god. Out of, out of character. No, or did you say that in character? <coughs> <coughs> that in character. <clears throat> I, I give her a look and then I say, no. Oh, thank god. I don't know if I could handle that again. Phrasing. <laughs> Were you just talking about how vil he is earlier? <laughs> <laughs> Heads. Phrasing. I was like, there's something I gotta show you, but I can't show it in here. Phrasing. Oh, out God. This is okay. <laughs> Lydis starts. Lydis just breaks out laughing, and Shala's holding her face and blushing. Okay, so uh, I don't, Bing I don't even gets. Okay, Bing Bong gets Bago to go with Nira and Bing Bong to the merchant. Okay. And I guess I'm going to the dock. Uh, with Tack and Shala okay. can go with you if she wishes. Yeah, my character's just like, never mind. I'll, I'll tell you later. Yeah, we're not even out of town, dude. <laughs> okay. So, who's going where first? We are all going around the twist. Shala would like to uh, go to the merchant. Okay. About well, Sunstone, since she does know some magic, maybe she can figure something out. Merchant, right? You're just trying to keep me from killing someone. No, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, Neo is better at that than I am. <laughs> and nobody suspects Bago. <laughs> Where's Bago going? Where's Bago going? He's going, going? He's going gotcha. with the casters. <laughs> okay, casters are going to see the merchant. Casters and Bago. Yes. Yep. All right. You enter the shop of the merchant, and he says, Hello, how can I help you? Uh, oh, Nira? yes. Oh. Please continue, Nightlark. Oh, okay. Uh, Nira pulls out the stone and says, <coughs> We heard that you are uh, selling stone similar to this. Uh, I yes. was wondering what... Okay. I was wondering what kind of uh, information you could inform me. Ah, uh, yes. These stones, I acquired a great personal risk, and they sell for quite a price. How did you... I don't remember selling one to you. How did you come to be in possession of this one? Um... We were given it by someone who had bought it from you. But who might this Or be? we received it. Uh, the Ghost Brothers? 
Ah, uh, yes, they set off on the expedition not long ago. Yeah, what I didn't would you... know they came, so... hmm. what, do you, what would you like to know? <clears throat> well, uh... what exactly do they do? I have a question. Hmm. Where did you acquire them? I managed, I acquired these stones at great personal risk from a tomb to the north of here. Oh, can you mark it on this map where it's at? Mm, <coughs> Perhaps if you were willing to maybe give me something in exchange. Of course I can give you something in exchange, but I would really rather uh, rather investigate the tomb myself personally first, and then base your reward off of what I find. Perhaps a down payment. On the Hold on, I was going to roll diplomacy on that. Oh, okay. <coughs> yeah, down Fuck. payment on your... on the information, then. Okay, I pull out five gold and put it on the table. He hides the five gold and says, Fair enough. And he tells you where the tomb is. <coughs> and nothing else. Uh, Shala, did you have a question? Uh, yes. You met... You've been selling these stones. I'm a bit curious about what exactly are the powers they have. Uh, the stones themselves are very magical. I've taken them to scholars at the library, and they've been unable to identify them. But they have great power. How do you... Oh, get it. Oh, no. No, he can finish. All right. They have, they have great power, and when I discovered them, there was an, an inscription above the chest that contained them. Do you oh. know what that inscription says? I had it translated, and it said that only those who bear one of these stones may find the lost city of Agda. Now, you said that these stones had quite great power. What kind of power have you um, witnessed from them? They seem to draw energy from the sun, acting like some sort of energy storage device that may or may not have been invented yet. Is there any way to harness this energy? The stone harnesses it, apparently. What the, no, but like, what does it do with the energy? Have you noticed anything strange happening with the stones? Yes. Mm, no, not to my knowledge since I found them. Only the reaction to sunlight. So, people get squished when they're holding them? I have reason to suspect that these stones may attract or create <coughs> dinosaurs. Which True or false? Them. Oh, I have never experienced such property. <coughs> uh, what leads you to this conclusion? Uh, I'm going to roll sense motive. I don't believe him. Okay, go for it. Uh, hold on, let me find, get my character sheet here. Shala's suspicious as well. And she rolls a natural 20 on sense motto. Mm. You sense that he doesn't know what you're talking about. So he's really clueless? At least as far as she can tell? As far as Shala can tell. Alright, I believe him. Uh, I'm, I ask him... Are you willing to go with us to the tomb to investigate this further? Uh, I do not wish to brave those dangers again. The tomb contains many traps, some of which I purposefully avoided setting off. Diplomacy. Fuck you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Natural 20. He's coming. He Crazy. really doesn't want to come. Crazy. 
this has that he really... will show you where the tomb is, but he will not enter. Well, can he also tell us exact knowledge of our auto traps he encountered? That he avoided rather than disarming? Mm. He says for a price for uh, his services and time, perhaps. Shala points out that if we get killed by the traps in the tomb, he won't get any second payment from us. He'll just have yes, his measly down payment. and that's why you should give me even more initial payments in order to survive. <clears throat> Very well, sir. I will give you more initial payment. <laughs> and she draws out uh, 50 gold and puts it on the table. Mm. That'll do nicely, man. When do we leave? How about right now? What? I have... well, we should at least wait till the west of the party meets with us. Or we could abandon them. No. Absolutely not. Well, you know, one of them still owes us his membership fee. I mean... There's no membership fee, Bago. I still had a few things I wanted to do in the city, and I'm sure the <laughs> others did as well. Mm. You should at least check and uh, find out whether or not they want to wait a day or two before we head out. Maybe get some provisions. He says that the tomb is a full day's hike north. Provisions okay. are good. We should get some food too. Okay, nice. yeah. We'll we will we will wait then and we will leave tomorrow uh, in the morning. First light. And if all this man says is true, Bing Bong will definitely make it worth his while. <coughs> okay. All right, uh, let's go to Tack and Dart at the docks. Okay. All right, you guys are looking for uh, ships, right? Where do you start? Yes. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> How about docks. where the boats are? I know where... We're at the docks, aren't we? You're at the docks, yeah. <laughs> you can ask anyone? Okay. Maybe talk to a captain. Okay. <laughs> I look for someone that looks like a captain. Uh, you find I'll a man with an eye Ghost. patch and a parrot on his shoulder. <clears throat> I know it. <laughs> These guys seem really reputable, Dart. You should go with them. Because the guy says, oh, You're not what here. can we do for you? I walk away. Okay. At least I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look. I look. I'm like, where are you going? Uh, where are you going? <laughs> we'll be going down Fine, over I in the morning. <laughs> Towards um, Osiris. <laughs> not not Osiris. Uh, God damn it. How much? Um. How much for passage? In. Okay, you're gonna just straight book him passage? No, no. no. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I. This he's is go, why he's going to. Go. He's going to Usara. Which is where? Uh, not north. Not not north, and the rest. I don't of know which to head north. Don't think we didn't. Okay, we were heading. This is why I didn't want to... No, yeah, we did. Yeah, we would have told him to charter a boat <coughs> for us to use while we're searching for the lost city of the Dinosaur King. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So clearly this is not the person to... No, he's, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, an, he's a merchant. This is not the person. He's leaving in the morning also. Okay. Is he a um, merchant? Good luck on your voyage, sir. Um, we do not need. We do. We don't need. Um, he says, if you look into uh, hire a ship for personal use, you you'd, you'd best talk to uh, to Job, who runs uh, uh, a charter service. Uh, where my I, I don't Joe. trust him. You're not here. 
<laughs> um, he points you to an office on the shore, down, uh, on the docks, a little, a little ways down. Thank you, sir, and I extend my uh, my hand for a handshake. Uh, he puts out his hook and sort of put knocks your hand with it. Okay, I just whisper in my and I I go to Joe. Mm. I just whisper in my breath. I need more booze. Joe, not Joe. Joe. Okay. okay. Oh yes, charter a boat from a guy named Joe. Oh my. Not Joe, Joe with a G. Oh. Ah, do I have to spell everything for you people? Anyway. I don't spell it for Bagel, because, you know. <laughs> okay. You enter the small office, and the man behind the counter says, what can I do for you? Uh, yes, we would like to... Uh, um. Um, okay. We would like to charter a boat that could be, uh, we would like to charter a boat for seven passengers. Uh, Wait, what? no, eight. What seven, si seven. Yeah. Can Where you count you seven? <laughs> Lindis. She's yeah. not a passenger. That's a summon. That's not even a person. You know... Uh, Ah, that's racist. Can you count or if not? If I wanted to be accurate... <coughs> what did you say? Can you count or not, sir? Is it seven or is it eight? It's seven. Okay. We have this, um... We have large canoes that we, we could use, or a small engine ship with living quarters that will go around any of the larger rivers in the jungle. Now keep in mind, Dart doesn't know where this this place is, so I'm going to go safe and go with the larger ship. Okay. How much um, for the um, engine ship? The engine ship is 30 gold a day. 30 gold a day. To rent. And he also doesn't know where this place is, so he doesn't know how long the voyage will be. No. Hmm. So, do you tell him that you know how good. long your voyage will be? I don't know how long this voyage will be. So, tell you what, I'll get back to to my group and we'll discuss, and we will be back by say tonight or tomorrow morning. <clears throat> You're not even going to look at the ship before you charter it. Oh, oh, actually, that sounds like a a great idea. Let's look at it. I will have my son show you around the boat in question. Okay. I guess you have a map of this boat. Um, no, I don't, but... Uh, we'll just... There's, a there's, no, there's no map of the boat. But the son's going to show you around. The son's name is... Robert. Okay. Um... Robert takes one look at you and says, "Why? Why do we have to um, <clears throat> rent our rent our property to scum like that to his father, right in front of your face?" I'm gonna exercise my self restraint, mm -hmm. and I'm not. I was like, "Whoa, excuse me." He he looks at you and says, "Oh, are you with him? You sh you shouldn't keep such uh, monstrous company, my friend." Oh, monstrous, huh? Oh dear. You want to take that back? Oh god. <laughs> no one else um, is there to restrain them. I shall have gone. Uh, hey. Apologies, <laughs> you are, as long as you have the coin to pay us, we will rent you our wares, says the father. And he reprimands his son strongly that they can't afford the to, they can't afford to turn around well. customers after having lost <clears> so many boats. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. I say to the father, you are very kind. Mm. He says, "Why don't I show you around the ship instead?" He tells his son to go back to whatever he's doing. That would be nice. So, what does the ship? What does the ship look like? What's its name? Um, and the ship is called the Merryweather. Merryweather. The Merryweather. 
Hmm. How big is it? Um, it's about 20 feet long, and it has one covered area, enough for maybe <coughs> a few people to sleep in, in sleeping bags on the floor. And it has a small engine on steam. How difficult, is for, how difficult is it to pilot? Uh, he says, do you have any experience piloting ships? Um, I, I'm afraid I do not. Would um, Actually, you do. You kind of do. I'll no, count. I don't. No, he doesn't. Oh, I do, I do, I do, actually. Wheel. Yeah. <laughs> it's also on the steering wheel, so. Yeah. I have piloted the boat a couple times, but I don't know much about boats. Hmm. At least well, I helped th- pilot he the boat that, during the night. Hmm. He says this should be ve- fairly simple. It's got s- simple rudder controls and a wheel and a throttle. Nothing too complicated, and it's not a sailing vessel. You should be able to pilot it fine. Can I expect Looks your party nice. tomorrow morning, then? I'll have to go over um, go over it with my party, but maybe, maybe not. I, I'll be seeing... Um, one of our members seems, seems eager to go, so I'm going to say most likely. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your picture, Ditch, and I I hand out my hand for. Okay. He shakes your hand and says thank you, sir, and he goes back to his office. And you go on your way. All right, back at the inn that evening. Oh, oh wait, um, Nero wanted to go see the ghost family. Yes. Okay. Nero's going. Shala will go uh, with wait. Go to the ghost family. Mm-hmm. Could I go to the ghost family too? No, is you this, can't. Is this you're after not, we? You're not with them. You haven't met up with them. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I didn't know if this was after <laughs> we all went back to the inn and then they went later. Nope. This is no. right after. Okay. All right. Um, uh, Mrs. Ghost answers the door and says, Oh, back again. How can I help you, my friends? Uh, good afternoon, Mrs. Ghost. I realized that last night while we were at your house, I um, forgot to bring this journal that belonged to one of your sons. And she hands it over. It doesn't seem like he wrote much in it, but I wasn't sure whether or not he wanted it on account of it being his. Oh, he, he bought this just last week. He's going to document his great adventure. Thank you very much for returning this to me. You've done so much for us. Shala? No, you, you suffered a... You suffered quite a tragedy. If there's anything you can do to help, you know, I'm more than willing. Hmm. Okay, she, she asked you if you'd like to come in for lunch. I look over at Shala and Bago and Bing Bong and say, well? I thought we already ate lunch. Yeah, yeah that's what oh. I was about to say. <laughs> Did we all oh, eat right. lunch at the end? That's right. Shala oh. thinks so, but mentions that we already ate lunch at the end. She says she she looks kind of disappointed. Best follow says, "Oh, well, I'll not keep you then." Shala says, uh, "Before you go, I want to ask you something." She says, oh, and she shows her the key and asks her if she recognizes the key. Uh, she says that she doesn't. And, uh, but, uh, where did you get it? Sean mentions that uh, your sons had it mm-hmm. with them, but there wasn't any information about what it was. I wondered maybe it had something to do with the journey they were setting out on. I do not know beyond that. She said that she doesn't know anything about it and apologizes. Shala says, no need to apologize. Just wanted to know if you recognized it. Maybe it was something that had belonged to them before they set out. If that was the case, it might have been. 
something you want to have back. Shaw then asks if she may keep the key in case it proves helpful. She says, yes, keep the key and keep the sunstone without any um, problems. She said that they only brought misery to her sons and to her family. Okay. Charlotte says thanks and Okay. Thank you so much. Is everybody going back to day. is everybody going back to the end now? Uh what time is it? Um it's getting on near the evening. Almost time. Okay. Uh Nira would like to stop in at the magic shop. Okay. You guys aren't uh it's not necessary for you to join me if you don't want. Shaw decides we to, uh, may as well. Might as well. Um, Might as well stick together until we get back to the end. Alright. Okay, you guys are going to the magic shop then. Yes. As you enter the magic shop, the bell rings and you see <coughs> a familiar looking half wolf Oh. What is, uh, what is he doing? He's just leaving. He doesn't notice. Okay. Near a nods to him and goes about her way. He, he Hold finds on. his head and walks, yep. walks away. I've got an idea. <coughs> Stealth check. Okay. Aw. Come on. He could detect it. Um, you suddenly crouch and the half orc looks at you strangely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I now I stand up calmly and say, "Now that I have your attention, sir, <laughs> I never caught your name, and I would like to apologize for the, you know, way we treated you the other day." He says, um, "No apologies necessary. My name is Berthold." How do you spell that? B e r t h o l d. Okay, I'll just change that on my character sheet. <laughs> oh, God. Enemies. I fought motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> now known as Bethel, the half fought motherfucker. <laughs> okay, um. Bing Bong also says, and, uh, before he, as he's leaving, <laughs> how long do you plan to stay in town? Uh, she asks, how long do you plan to stay in town? He says that he's leaving in the morning for the east. Oh, what's to the east? Great adventure, I assume. He's headed to Nyx. Oh, well, someday we'll, uh, we'll be heading to Nyx. Perhaps we'll see you there. What inn are you staying at? I'd like to buy you a drink later. <laughs> um, he tells you that the inn he's staying at is um, the Fancy Pantaloons. Oh my god. <laughs> god. <coughs> you should just Would like you like to join me for drinks in private? My treat. Diplomacy. He would like to join you for drinks in private, yes. Oh boy. Okay. We, we'll, uh, uh, what uh, time would you like to meet? Say around nine? That'll work nicely, madam. And he winks at you. Okay, Bing Bong winks back. Okay. Oh god. Um, Nira says that she hopes that he has a safe journey through next and makes it safely to his destination because it can be quite dangerous. Okay. He thanks you and he goes on his way. <coughs> okay, before we so, go back, could I buy some rations? Sure, yeah, you don't really have to announce that. Okay, okay 20 rations. Alright. 
After Nero. the half orc leaves, Shala kind of looks at Bing Pong and says, Please tell me this won't be a repeat of Sid the Honest Merchant. Shala, dear. Who is this Sid you speak of? I somehow don't think you forgot him back in Jaha, in the alley, screaming when Lindis came back. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, just please <coughs> don't. Oh. Shala doesn't know what to say to that and just falls quiet. Nira is wandering through the shop. She does not hear what just went on in the thing going on, Shala. And she goes over to the shopkeeper. Okay. Good day, sir. Just how can I help you, ma'am? I was wondering if you had any spell scrolls on hand. Um, let me check my list. He says as he rifles through his list. He seems to be a very disorganized shopkeeper. Oh dear. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it! Where is it? <laughs> That's in character, by the way. Is that in character? <laughs> okay. Um, he says that the only two scrolls he has on hand are scrolls of magic missile and endure elements, but he can make more if need be. Uh, hmm. I don't need either of those, but do you think it would be possible to make a keep watch scroll? He says a simple spell like this. Yes, it would be. Very simple. Uh, um, he can make it this evening, and you can come pick it up any time after tomorrow. Oh, after tomorrow. Hmm. Uh, she looks back and says, Bing Bong, how, how long do you think we will be out on this little excursion? No, we can pick up in the morning on the way out. Oh, oh, <coughs> sorry. I thought you meant, like, the day after tomorrow. No, no, no. Okay. Um, Alright, I could pick it up in the morning. Excellent. And he says, We'll meet you before dawn. He kind of eyes you early. and says, if that's, if that's when you arrive, I'll likely be asleep. You'll have to pound the door quite loud. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Um... But we are we are leaving at first. Place, so. oh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, it's the evening. You guys go back to the inn. Is anybody going with Bing Bong to her rendezvous? It's not well, that late yet. Yeah. That it's early when early. I meet up with Doc, uh, <coughs> ask them how it went with the. Uh, but what sort of prices they found for charter-owning boats. Um, does. It, it went well. We found a, um, a small um, steamboat known as Mer Merriweather, which is being offered by a man named Jode. He, um, how much was it again? Uh, he didn't tell you. Yes, he did. Oh, great. Yeah, he did. 30 Sorry, 30 day. gold a day. Yeah, he did. 30, gold, um, 30 gold a day. I also, I um, any information, time. any information right. on where this, um, temple is? Uh, you guys won't be taking, are you guys taking the boat to the temple? Or the, to the tomb? Um. Well, he said it was a day's hike away, so. It's a day's hike. Yeah, so I, I don't assume. think, yeah, I assumed, oh. um, we wouldn't need a boat. <coughs> well, I didn't know that. So it's more the future will probably need a boat. Well, I did say that you should get a price, not actually charter one. Yeah. Shall I ask if he? I uh, didn't charter one. If there are any other boats available, or if it's just that one. He also are offered canoes, but I wasn't sure how far away his temple was, so I inquired about the. About the um, the, the small steamboat, just in case. 
canoes, I'm guessing. Do you guessing. get price on the canoes as well? I'm sorry, I forgot. Ah. Well, anyone else offering uh, boats to charter, or is that just that guy? Uh, um, seems, um, seems the rest are merchant boats. Only Jode seems to be offering charters. Or at least some guy with a with a um, hook hand said so. Guy with a hook hand? Don't Sounds ask. Sounds like an interesting fellow. Yep. That's the boat I want to charter. Yeah, he's a mer he's a merchant and yeah. um, he's a merchant and he's heading to. Uh, he is heading the opposite way of where we should go. He's heading to. Um, ah, crap. Monkey King Town. Usaro. Oh. Usaro, yeah. He's heading to Usaro. I don't think that's the way we're, we're, we need to go anyway. No, you guys should totally go to Usaro. Usaro. Well, we probably anything. could have hired him to go, uh, to go with us for a while and delay his trip. Well, you want to go ask him? Do it. I'll tell you where he is. Nah, I don't really care that much. We won't be heading by boat immediately anyways. And Shaw mentions how we're planning on leaving the following morning to see if we can find any information out at the tomb where all the sunstones was found. Can I ask you this, um, Zucchini? Mm. Has it been enough rest for us to completely have our HP back? Not um, all of it. Not <clears throat> completely, no. Uh, you will get two hit points a day from just normal and rest. And you've been in town been two, days. two days. Yeah. So four yeah. HP up down here. Yeah. I probably want to buy a couple potions before we leave. Okay, uh, there's how many hours before Bing Bong's date? Um, is uh, <clears throat> two hours before Bing Bong's date. Okay, that's time enough to uh, make a potion. Oh dear. Oh. Mira, okay. uh, Mira sits next to Tack and asks, so, uh, um, what is your history? And what brings you to this area? Eh, <coughs> long story. Pretty much I got oh. kicked out of my old group. And now I have nowhere else to go. Oh, I see. Uh, since you will be joining us, might I ask what to leave your old group? Uh, pretty much I was playing with my buddy Eric or my buddy Eric and I well, former buddy but we were playing cards and I was winning of course because I'm talented <coughs> and, and yet ar around <laughs> around the third hand he, he's all like you're he's all like you're cheating you're cheating and I'm like no I'm not I'm just better than you. And this keeps going on and on until finally he he believes that I'm cheating and then just decides to punch me. For no reason. Oh my. What kind of asshole would punch someone for no reason? Hmm, <laughs> I wonder. And one thing led to another and I bit a chunk out of his arm. You what? <laughs> you what? <laughs> Why <coughs> the cows coming at me? Hey, it hurt. I don't even know how to cheat. Are you oh. gonna roll bluff on that or not? A uh, shallow's doing sense motive regardless. <laughs> <laughs> well, I well I'm not lying about the biting. Uh, she's doing about the whole story, including your not cheating, but that's a pretty bad sense motive. Yeah, she doesn't sense anything. But then again, he hasn't rolled bluff, so if he's lying, 
he need to roll bluff, probably. Yeah, I'm not lying. Oh, okay. Well, Shala believes then that you weren't cheating. And that you bit a chunk out of your former friend's arm. Yep. <clears throat> and then, then I guess the rest of the group were all like, oh, you can't be with us anymore. And then I was like, fine. Like, fuck you guys too. And they left. Uh, con considering that you will be joining our group, I feel obligated to ask, what are the chances of a repeat of that event? Mm. Zilch. <coughs> May I let you find Oh, good. Alright. Though I probably be you at cards. Well, oh. shot like that in my chance. Uh, well, don't worry, I'm sure no one here will just uh, punch you in the back. Well, at least not unless you do certain things. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> Shot just smile. Full sense motive. Full <laughs> sense motive. <laughs> Shot just says, uh, "Well, we're just an she interesting." Says that there's some part tension in the party. Like, <coughs> I'm just like, eh, whatever. I just keep drinking. Oh, Jason. What an interesting. Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, were you going to do that thing that you were planning to do with in? Uh, yeah, I was. I was just waiting for them to get done role playing. Okay. You guys done? Yeah. Well, okay. I, one quick thing. Linus then, uh, before he does it, Linus says, Hey, do you have any good battle cries? <laughs> oh, <then this>. <laughs> God. <laughs> Not really. <coughs> I tried out a few. They didn't work out too well. Lena says, next time you're in battle, try out Gungla, Gungla, Gungla. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I will. <coughs> Rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> yeah. It really Lina's does. Kind of like, uh, high fives him <laughs> after that. <laughs> <laughs> Mira puts her head in her hand. Okay. Or, and, like, rubs one hand over her face. Dance, my little puppets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, here's what Bing Bong is gonna do. Okay. While everyone's talking, and after she completes her potion of cure moderate wounds and puts it in her bag, and she begins getting ready. To go out for her night on the town. <laughs> and she says, you know, we promised these lizard folk that we would make sure they were well taken care of when we got to town. And we I don't think we've really done that. So I propose that we all pitch in a little bit money of, of money and buy this in and give the, give it to them. You are saying this for the party, right? I'm saying to everyone. <coughs> I, I ask about the lizard. Do you be able like, to afford it? Yeah. Okay. We, uh, uh, Shala yes, but... explains, but uh, oh, she well, kind of leaves out the fact that we broke them out, but just says the uh, freed slaves from Jaha that we're looking out after. I'm like Jaha, huh? And if you're from there? Nope. No, okay. we traveled through then there, I, and it's a pretty it scummy ground. place. Yeah, I spit on the ground and it says, "Good." I hope that place becomes a fucking crater. Oh, that's interesting. Well, we some okay, of it down. So. I bumped some of it down. The rest yeah, of the party looks at you and... so, Wait, did Bagos say that out loud? Bagos said yes. that in character. Yes, yes. 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 Oh, he did. Charlotte just kind of <laughs> wounds off. Oh, no, I was afraid of that. You guys realize wait, that wait, he burns okay. down the house. Okay, Bing Bong says, <gasps> Bago, I'm shocked! Wait, it's just what, what house? What house? Uh, Bing Bong kicks uh, Bagel on the shit. Ow! Gosh. I roll sense motive. Okay. Um. He's not lying. <laughs> no, because nobody that, told, did anybody tell me about the house? Sense that Bagel burned down a house. Uh, Shala, 
Has so to anyway, possibly in jail. Back to buying this in. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, Bago. What on earth possessed you to burn down that man's house? He was a dick. <laughs> that he was, Bago. That he was. This doesn't give you the right. The character says, "Whose house property. did you?" It was a Who's slave owner. <laughs> yeah, slave owner. Nobody's I mean. paying attention to Zach. Zach's just asking questions. You never know. I told him that it was a slave Shala. owner. And my character begins Shala to, to, to explain to Zach what happened. That uh, slaves were looking after. We kind of broke half of them free from a slave owner, and the same night that happened, his house mysteriously caught fire and apparently we've now learned the source of that mysterious fire my character starts laughing like crazy <laughs> I like you Pat <laughs> <laughs> oh good okay so about this in I think we should make an offer so if you're all willing to go Equally, of course, not you, Tack, because, you know, you just got here. Uh, unless you really want to, we're not going to keep you from it. Then I will go and discuss it with the uh, with the owners before I go uh, I go the, uh, out with that charming Berthelot. Or whatever his name is. Berthel, whatever. Berthel. Asshole. Berthel, okay, sorry. Just to... Uh... Clarify, who would own the deed to the end? Would it be transferred directly to the lizard folk? Do they know anything about even caring? I have me? a plan for that. I just need to know if you're willing to help me. Ish. Shall so. if Well, it's an idea. Nice okay, well, I'm going to go talk to him. Okay, and Bing Bong goes and talks to. The inn owner. Mm. Is this him? Yeah, he says, how can I help you, man? Is he an old man? He is an old man. He's an old <coughs> half-orc. He's an old half-orc. Excellent. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Uh, I was wondering, are you willing to sell your inn? He said, I've been thinking about it for many years. Why? How would you like... Uh, well, I w how old is your inn, sir? This inn's been going been standing here for over 40 years. Okay. I would like to offer you 1,000 gold for your inn. He says I'd have to discuss it with my wife. This is kind of the place that we live. Well, I was uh, I was going to make you an offer, and the lizard folk that we have staying here with <coughs> us, they're former slaves. And we were going to let them have the inn. And I was going to hire you to teach them how to run it and, you know, the upkeep and that kind of thing. And you can also live here free of charge for as long as you want. <coughs> says that uh, I'm going to roll diplomacy. Okay. 31. He says that's a mighty wow. fine offer. I've, I've not seen its like. There must be some catch. The catch is that you teach them how to run it. Mm -hmm. He says, I'll have to talk to my wife about it. He calls his wife over. <clears throat> he says, Amy, dear. What, uh, I'm guessing this is her, his, his wife. Yeah, it's his wife. He says, what um, this, this, this uh, young lady wants to buy the, the inn from us and let us live here and teach the former slaves that are staying with us how to run it. Um, the wife sort of nods in assent and says 3,000 gold, no less. 1,000 gold. He says, this Diplomacy. is a very well-established inn with many... Uh -huh. She says, this is a well, very well-established inn with um, years and years of service to the community. It's worth more than that. Yes, but I would also have to spend a lot of money on helping to have certain things restored, new furnishings, 
uh, a new paint job on the outside. It's getting you know a little bit drab, and it's a little drab. Uh, she she, she looks chairs. offended and says, "Are you calling my inn run down?" I'm calling it the building. I can have a new one built for 2,096 gold. I will go as high as 1,500. And keep, bear in mind, you will also be getting paid to teach the uh, teach our former slave friends how to run the inn. And how much would that be? Five gold a week. <clears throat> For as long as we stay here. Mm -hmm. Until they take over running, and then you can stay there for free. Mm. For the rest of your life, if you want to. 1,500 gold, done. Okay. Says, I go we'll back have, and we'll inform have to have the paper, party. Paperwork drawn up for this. Well, uh, funny you should mention that. We have a scribe with us. Excellent. Sh Shala she goes over and... by the local government? Yes. Go mm -hmm. Okay, is everyone going in on this out of character? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm going yeah. to bring the Yeah, this is a good idea. 1,500 gold each? No, yeah, it's not 1,500 gold each. It's 1,500 gold total. Total, yeah. That's 300 oh. gold each. No, it's 250 gold each. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did the batches. 300. <coughs> 300. No, 300. Well, well, if Tash does, if, if if Tash Tash doesn't. doesn't pay up... I'm, I'm giving money. Okay, we just okay. okay. 250 okay. gold, like Thank I said. You. Yeah, but I, I, have exact, I have exactly enough. 256. So that I'll be left for like 6 gold. What a cool well, that's fact, that, that bottle of whiskey you bought with 6 gold. Uh, <laughs> I, re oh, <laughs> I realize this that? fact that I'm like, that one moves. I'll buy you something to uh, drink later, Tack. Okay. Okay, I lay my 250 table. Okay. Yep, that's good. Everybody pulls their money and then Shala draws up a, a contract. <clears throat> oh, uh, Bing Bong. Are you guys getting? Mm -hmm. Have you informed the lizard folk of this plan? That's what I was just gonna say. Nope. It's a surprise gift. Um, we're gonna put a big bow bow in the building. No, we're not. Just, just a moment. I go upstairs to the lizard folk's room. Okay. Stay and knock on the door. They have multiple rooms, but sure, one of them. Oh. Okay. Do they have? You're gonna gather them all and tell them. They say yes. Um, yes. What did you want to see us for? Uh, Bing Bong and the rest of the group have come up with a plan for uh, a way that you guys could have uh, employment. And I was curious to know whether or not you would be interested in it. Oh yeah, and what's this? They ask you to explain it. Uh, I explain the whole situation with the inn, and that the innkeepers would stay on to help teach you how to run it. They look very enthusiastic and say, you've done so much for us. Thank you very much. And this is acceptable to you? They, no they all nod. Alright. I just wanted to check before we finish the procedure. Then I go back down and say that. Okay, they're on board. And you've ruined the surprise! Well, what if it would have been a bad surprise? Then we would own an inn. Oh. Uh... I just Bing Bong sense. asks, once the contract and everything is drawn up, she asks the uh, former keeper, innkeeper, Mr. Stoutson, 
to hire her a contractor to build an alchemy lab onto the side of the inn. Uh, he says that he will go into town and find someone suitable. Okay. And she informs the party that she will use the alchemy lab to teach the lizard folk alchemy. Ooh. My. He'll be well set up by the time we leave. Okay. Uh, Bing Bong's uh, ready I to go on her date. Okay. It's time for Bing Bong's date. I'm going to point out that I will be wearing... Wrong character sheet. I will be wearing my... <coughs> where is it? My entertainer's outfit. You're finally get to use that. Entertainer's outfit. Oh. Yes, I am. Is anyone going to follow her? Uh, no. Uh, no. Is this a date with again? Is it with, with Orc? Take it's with the half orc. And you don't uh, even know about the day unless well, you... Tell I you don't, don't hang, on, hang on a second. Can I do a sense motive? Would that tell me anything about um, what she's can, planning? Or if she try. has good intentions or bad? You can try. Okay. I, or would, it, would perception be better? Sense motive would be better. Sense motive. Okay. You haven't asked me anything, though. Yeah, maybe she well, has. I'm just Ask her. Straight out. Uh, <coughs> Bing Bong, what are you planning? I'm planning to go on a date. It's been so long since my last one. And roll sense. That was that your sense motive? Oh, that was my sense motive, but that was yeah. You said she wants to get laid. Oh, I. Ah, see but uh, everyone has urges. So. <laughs> he just did Jason Goodwill, assume... Willie Low Bluff. <laughs> right. Jason. Yes! <laughs> Roughly the same. <laughs> she didn't roll high enough to really she, figure anything out. She rolled higher than you. You have to. Doesn't matter. One point. Oh. No, she rolled higher than you. So you gotta give some sort what of vague knowledge of your, inten of your actual intentions. Okay, a vague idea of what I'm going to do. Uh, vaguely, Shala, or not Shala, but Nira figures yeah. out that Bing Bong is going to go have drinks with the half orc. And perhaps something will happen later, perhaps not. Is this happening where Shala can hear, or is Shala off? Everybody can hear this. Alright, in that case, Shala will do her own sense mode of. Alright. My character, my character just Dart is Dart is tired of trying to convince oh. convince Big Bong to not do bad things, so I just say, have a good time. <laughs> okay. My character just doesn't care. You're the like, I, I plan to character. thank you, Dart. And Bing Bong leaves. <coughs> oh, what Bing does Charlotte Dart. tell with that sense mode of? Oh because uh, Shaw did her, I wore the sense mode before she left. What does Shaw tell with that sense mode of Nothing in response good. to Neil's question. Nothing that, good. That's what she senses. That. Nothing good. Uh, there. Fair enough. Oh, Charlotte kind of whispers to, to Neil about that. I'm going to point this out, too. Zucchini didn't know about this, and he's just guessing. It's mm -hmm. true, yeah. <coughs> okay, well then, from you, so based you. on that, what should <laughs> Charlotte tell based on that? Uh, based should on that? You can tell like a that to your Bing Bong song. is wearing a very slutty outfit. That was sense motive, not perception. I know. Yeah. Anyway. You know, I, I have high enough stealth that I could probably follow her without, the, without getting noticed. Is anyone going to follow her? You know what? I'm going yep. to. Okay. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, Yo, no. you go ahead and follow me. All right. Okay. <sighs> I take a 10. Which will Ten? Bring okay, my... so what is that? That is 20. <coughs> when? For a higher than 20 on Hang perception. Hang on a second. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to try to perceive him. Okay. Following me. Alright, um... Okay. Basically, Bing Bong has entered the tavern. I'm worried. the tavern. 
Should I put myself on the map? the orc in the back corner. Here's the thing, uh, one quick thing, Jason. Does Shala think that you're going to try to commit murder? Because as long as, at this point, she's tired enough for as long as she thinks you're not going to actually kill the guy. No! Jason, why don't you, why don't you, why don't you side chat? Then Shala stays out and doesn't and follow we'll see you. And we'll see how, what, they get, what they can figure out. <clears throat> Alright, hold on. Yeesh. A bunch of prudes. Should I put myself on the map? No, you're outside right now. Unless you want to go in and yeah. No, I'm I'm well, saying he can put himself he can put himself outside next to the door. You like? I'm here I'm I'm here for the half orc safety. Mm. I'm sitting on this I'm sitting on this couch. Okay. Outside. <clears throat> and can I keep a constant like listening in to see if the, see if the noise increases or like if I hear a fight I'm going in. Okay, if you like. There, zucchini. That's my plan. Uh. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. How far away are we from the inn? Uh, you're a 20 minute walk away. Okay. How fast if I run? Okay. Uh, ten minutes. Just one minute. This ten minutes, even with my, even with yeah, how fast I am as a monk. Ten minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, you sit down beside the half orc and he says hello there. <clears throat> Why, hello, dear. What can I do for you? Well, you can tell me about the stone that you uh, had the other day. And she orders uh, two drinks of very powerful alcohol. Okay. Okay. Uh, he says that he's planning to go in search of the lost city using a stone and the secret method that the merchant told him about. Funny you should say that. I talked to the merchant. He doesn't really know seem to know that much about the stones. Is that so? What makes you think that? Well, I and some of my friends talked to him about it, and he seemed very puzzled and told us that he had some scholars in town look at them, and they knew nothing about the stones. Hmm. So the secret method he told me was bullshit? He sold, Basically. The secret method yes. he sold me was bullshit. Ah, oh, kill yes. him! Wait! Maybe you shouldn't do that. Don't be so hasty. He eyes you skeptically. Uh, he's, uh, I, I tell him that I basically convinced him to head out with our party in the morning to where he got the stones, and hopefully the, peop uh, the you know, arcanist in the party with us will be able to find something out where he got the stones. He says, and you're suggesting you're just going to give me this I'm information <coughs> for free? I'm suggesting uh, oh no, I'll I'll pay for it and if no, no. he is lying and has gotten many people hurt like I suspect he has that's, even that's though not he, what was... he asked. He's he's oh, what implying, did he ask? He's implying that you're going to give the information to him for free and he's skeptical. Oh, the information about the stone? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll give him the information about the stone for free. He's very skeptical. Okay, well, I'm not lying about it. Okay, no, that's fine. However, there is a very simple, uh, simple matter that I would also like to discuss. And Bing Bong orders another drink for uh, for the man. Hmm. And she says, "You scammed my friend the other day. That was Fifteen cool. gold was all you." Paid for that uh, for that long sword, and she was doing it as a favor to the ghost family, and because it belonged to their son. And I would like for you to give back eighty-five gold of that, because that would be fair. Hey. I'm a roll diplomacy. Shit. He, the says, one time he says that she <clears throat> named that figure, not him. That was her decision. And if she doesn't come to me herself looking for a refund with the item in question, then he will not give the gold back. Okay. Uh, Bing Bong moves her chair next to the uh, half work and puts her hand on on his lap and says perhaps there's something we can work out you roll in a more private setting I roll seduction don't All do right. it it's charisma based I'm rolling diplomacy mm, no you're rolling su seduction it's not diplomacy no no, I'm rolling diplomacy because I'm propositioning him. Yeah, that's seduction, and that's charisma-based. No, not necessarily. Oh, How is seducing someone I, I'm not gonna charisma based? I'm going to point out that, I, that in the entertainer's outfit, I'm basically naked already. I so. know, I know. But you still have to roll yeah. charisma. Okay, so what do you want me to roll? Charisma. Roll charisma. Mm -hmm. mm, are you sure you don't want me to roll? I don't know diplomacy. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that I want you oh, to roll boy. charisma. <laughs> <coughs> okay, explain. Uh, explain to me why it's charisma. Because you are seducing him, which is charisma. You need charisma to no, do no, no. that. No, no, no. I'm not trying to seduce him. I'm trying. To negotiate a proper price. Diplomacy. That's not diplomacy. You're seducing him. Yes, it is. No. It it's isn't. totally diplomacy. It isn't. Oh my goodness. You can keep arguing that with me that diplomacy is charisma based? No, but he's got a special not feat for to make him being make bombed. I, I have a trait to make all my, all my diplomacy roles intelligence based. Yeah. Okay. No, it, it, it's charisma role. Okay, so it's diplomacy minus my intelligence. No, it's a charisma roll. Yeah, it would be charisma then, because I'm going to take it all down to a plus eight. But you don't get your there. ranks. Yes, I would, because I would have still put ranks in diplomacy, Zucchini. Okay, you know what? I'm going to roll it for you. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. This is, this is going to end horribly. Well, not for 20. You rolled an 8. Psh, bullshit. You know <laughs> what? I'm sorry, Zucchini, but now I'm just going to have to kill the guy. Mm -hmm. If you like. Oh, crap. <coughs> Keep in mind, I, I put my eye in. Oh, oh, my ear. What was that, Zucchini? I will give you a. Plus two circumstance bonus for the outfit. Alright, so I've rolled a ten. Now here's the question. How horny is the orc? Let's find out. It's metal ages. <laughs> Very. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf horny this. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. What does that even mean? Is low is low or high? It's, it's I'm rolling for how high it is. 
Do you it's know what it doesn't really matter because Yep, high enough. enough. That's high enough. It works. <laughs> okay, so do they retire to his room? They retire to his room. Okay, uh, she tells him to take his pants off. He takes his pants off. I'm going to roll perception now. Okay. Okay, do I, see his, do I see his money belt? No, you don't. Well, you see, you see a coin Why purse. Why not? You see a coin purse, yes. Hmm? Freezing. Yeah, okay, so I... <laughs> God damn yeah, it, but does it. Does it hold gold, is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you, it holds a small amount of gold, yes. <clears throat> How small? Um, <laughs> you saw him buying... <laughs> damn it, Cass. You saw him buying drinks with it. In <laughs> okay, uh... <clears throat> I tell him to take, his, uh, to take his shirt off, and I help him out of his armor. Mm-hmm. And I place all of his stuff, like, in the, cor- uh, in the corner away from him. And I have him roll over mm-hmm. onto his stomach. Mm-hmm. And I begin to give him a back rope. Okay. He's real into it. Okay, he's into it. Uh, da, 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 da. uh sorry, I just gotta get some music. <laughs> do it though. Do it. I know what you're getting. Please do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, while this is going on, while this, uh, while he, uh, while I'm giving him the back rub, I cast mage armor on myself and resistant. Uh, okay. <coughs> Why? Oh. Just saying. She's gonna rob him, obviously. <laughs> so obviously gonna fucking rob him. <laughs> okay, okay, and now I am going to cast slumber. Or rather, deep slumber. God damn it, all Where of these are covers. Room? <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Just tell me, Zucchini, where is this orc room? Uh, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Sorry, oh, Dart. <laughs> fine, I'll just... You yeah. would have had to follow them inside. Yes. Yes. There we go. Oh my god. That's not the track I was expecting. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll upload it for you so you can use the real. I was expecting something more. Black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can so. Roll, yeah, um, can I roll perception to see if I can hear this from where I'm sitting? No, they're in there. Hear the Aerosmith? There's, there's no music. <clears throat> not the mute. Well. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can you, I cast I cast deep slumber on him. Okay, hang on. Okay, go for it. He's a fighter, right? What save is it? Zucchini, could you turn it down a little bit? Sure. Yeah, it's a little bit loud. Thank you. Better. Is he a fighter? No, he isn't. Okay, then what is he? Barbarian. Okay, he's a barbarian. Uh, it is a will-based, actually. Is it? Yes. Barbarians tend to have low will. Yep. yep. So, you're gonna have to roll and eighteen and get an eighteen on your will save, and he's probably pretty low level, so he's got a plus one mod to his will. And he's also yes, he does. Screen. That is correct. And he's also very intoxicated. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna... so he probably has a negative now. Anything so that stops it's gonna be a... is fine. No. <laughs> some... He he hasn't ha- he hasn't drank that much. He drank two with me, and he's a half orc. So he he's drank got two pretty... with me. How many did he have before? 
We didn't have any before. Okay, so roll your will save then. So you get like a plus one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he's asleep, right? Hold on. Yeah, he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh. Music's still going. Quick percent. Uh, quick sp uh, Yeah. <laughs> Quick spot check, uh, I'm gonna cast the tech magic on his shit. Okay. Anything magical? No, nothing magical. Okay. Uh. Some potions, some pure light wounds it's... in his bag. That's about it. How many? Two. <laughs> two? I take the two potions and I leave. Okay. That's it? You don't take the gold? Uh, no, I'll let him keep the gold. The potions are worth, uh, our 100 gold to buy two of them, so... Oh. Fuck him. <laughs> Alright, we're gone now. Okay, <laughs> I'm gone, and I'm right here. Yep. And as I leave, I roll perception. Do and I, I roll... Can I roll stealth against that? Um, you in the open. There's nothing for you to hide. I, I, You're I, I kind do. of in the open. Yeah. Yeah. You can't really roll stealth. <coughs> Unless you have like a newspaper and, and, and a hat and a fake mustache on. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> well, what, what should I roll against that? Um, You can roll disguise if you like. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'll try. I will. <laughs> Go for it. Even though I take a minus one to it. But you never know. You take more than the minus one because she knows you. But yeah, yeah, okay, that's there you go. Not gonna happen. I see you. Oh, you... my dart, honey. My uh, it, oh, hang fancy on, hang on. meeting Be you. Before I... before that, your disguise is you put your <coughs> finger over, um, right under your nose as if you have a mustache. That's your disguise. <laughs> okay. Okay, I notice him. I I see through his disguise, and I say, "Oh, dart." I so glad I, I am so glad you came to pick me up after my day. I was just concluding it. The, our half orc friend, uh, he was so nice. He was so nice, but he got sleepy and he had to retire early. Come on, let's go. And they leave and go to the inn. Okay. Wait. Before that, do I know? Um, kind of roll perception to see if I notice the two potions on her person. No, you can roll sense motive. The potions are in her bag. Yep. So technically, okay. she didn't uh, lie. Technically, I think. Yeah, I technically didn't lie. Oh, but I... Um, hmm. You believe her, but you think there's more to it than that. And <laughs> Bing Bong continues to walk away. Okay. All right. I Back. guess I go with her. Back to the end. <coughs> I'm back. How was your day? Oh, it was gr it was great. That uh, the, uh, our half orc fr uh, friend was so ni uh, nice, but he got a little sleepy, and he had to go to retire early before uh, before anything more fun happened. Uh, oh, by the way, Bago, here these are for you. And she hands him the two potions of cure lot wounds. Oh, thanks. And. Bing Bong says, uh, says, Nira, I'm so very sorry that you got cheated out of so much money the other day, and to make up for it, here you go. And she hands her the potion of cure moderate wounds she made earlier. Okay. Uh, Nira, what's the potion? And says, oh, Bing Bong, you don't have to. I mean, I did that of my own free will. I understood what I was doing. Oh, it's quite all right. I'm doing this because I'm your friend. Yeah. Well, I anyway, we have an early day in the morning, so let, uh, let's get some sleep. I grumble like, eh, fine. Okay. Oh, and by the way, zucchini. Mm. Zucchini. Mm -hmm. uh, deep slumber lasts one hour per level. When cast on a single creature, he's going to be down asleep for six hours. I know. Okay. Just making sure you know. Yeah, I know. <coughs> and everybody thought I was going to kill someone. 
You know what you should have done. I could have. I thought about slitting his throat when I put him to sleep. No, what you should have done was tied him up. Nah. Naked on the bed. No, slitting his throat would have been. <laughs> then. Relaxed. Then. Oh, yeah. Put in a wake-up call for him. Nah. That was. <laughs> okay. Uh. So. The next morning. Uh, I go over to the magic shop and bang on the door. Mm. A groggy magician. Bagel should wizard. bang as well. <coughs> a groggy wizard Linda opens as the well. door and says, Oh, you. Hands you the scroll and says, I'm going back to bed. I pay him. He says, and oh, yeah. thank him very Thanks. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. thank, thank you very much, sir, for the, uh, the early morning. I appreciate it. My character wakes up and says, like, booze. Let's have booze. <laughs> okay. So uh, have Bing Bong says, boobs? Well, I have a pair right here. It's booze. Oh, that's different. Uh, Bing Bong puts back, uh, uh, obviously isn't going to be in her entertainer's outfit anymore. And I... wears her cleric <laughs> vestments. I order a glass of tea. At the magic show? At the magic show? No. At the end. Yeah, we, no. we already left. But I'm, you guys left already. <laughs> yeah, we gotta meet the guy at first light. Yeah. So you would, oh. all, we would all leave together. Okay. So you okay. kind of already ate. Yeah. All right, <coughs> after the magic shop, uh, Shala goes over to Tack and says, there's something you want to show us when we're all together? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, well, I, I can't do it around here. Like, I'll, we'll wait till we get out of town. Hmm. Oh, okay. Did you go it and must be you something meet, quite interesting. You meet the um, merchant at the North Gate. He's wearing what appears to be leather armor, and he has a rapier in his hand. Good morning, sir. He says, it's too fucking early. Early, isn't it? Well, I'm sure some people in this city got a great night's sleep last night. Come on, let's go. Alright. Mm. Uh, you leave town. And hey, we're out of town? Yeah, you're out of town. But the merchant's with us. The merchant's with you. Uh, that, uh, that's fine. Okay. fine. Okay. Okay, we're out of town. Alright. You're out like of how town. far are we? Um, you walk for two hours. You're in the jungle. Okay. I go, ah, finally. And then I change into my new before. Oh, no! What? Oh, my. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's what I was going to tell you. You guys. You guys can Danufi. I roll. Can I roll, like, a knowledge check? Sure. To know what he is? Sure. Yeah. Um, what knowledge would that be? That would be. Knowledge nature? Yeah, knowledge uh, nature. Yeah, knowledge nature. Oh. Alright, just a second. Check to make sure that's so right. Shaw has a 16 in knowledge nature. There we go. Mm. You think he's a shape changer, and from his form that he's just assumed, you think he's a tanuki. Does Shaw okay. know that or? Does she uh, not have any idea Shella other than obviously? Can, can I can I ask something out of character? Mm. What 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 book does the Tanuki come from? Um, the Tanuki. Yeah, I know. Uh, the Tanuki we're homebrewing. It's actually a Kitsune we're using, but just slightly modified. Tanuki's in the is a monster and a race. But yeah, it's not playable, so we just modified the Kitsune. Okay. Because I know there is a third party to make you race. No, we're not using the third party one. Yeah, it's dumb. Wait. Shala right. goes over to Bing Bong and says, How did you know? That. <laughs> Bing Bong. Yeah, so. Mike. <coughs> okay, Bing Bong looks at Shala and said, Nira's over there, dear. <laughs> No, no, she, I think she's referring to, um, 
Have to the affinity for raccoons. <laughs> what you said, we want to hire a gunslinger with an affinity for raccoons. <laughs> and then the next morning, <laughs> and then Linda says, maybe she didn't know, maybe it's just destiny. <laughs> response to that. Uh, okay, near, uh, Bing, Bong, uh, Bing Bong does this then. She, uh, she puts her hand on the symbol of Nethus on, uh, in, on her cleric's uh, vestments and says, it came to me in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, sorry. I was trying to tell you guys earlier, but it's a yeah, it's kind of... Seth's mode of like, 20, is that true? Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of... Yep, it's true! Bluff! <laughs> <laughs> um... Like, I was planning on telling you guys earlier, but we were in town. Did you? Yeah, I did. I Mira wanna... says, oh, are you a, a, a Tanuki? I've heard yep. of your... I've heard of... Of you. Of your kind, I guess. Yep. I've, I've never seen one before. How fascinating. Well, now you have. What do you think? Oh. <clears throat> you still look pretty, uh... Fierce in this form. I can understand now uh, how you bit a chunk out of an, a companion's arm. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I did want to tell you in the town, but I did want to show you in the town, but. Uh, Shaw uh, says, why not? I, Lindis was walking in public and didn't seem to get many odd looks. Well, it's, it's a tradition of my people to not like show our forms to humans, at least in a town. Is it is it difficult to shift into a human form? Does it hurt? Nope, not at all. It's like putting on oh. a glove. Amazing. Well, you oh. know what they say. Uh, you know what they say, Tack. No glove, no love. No. And Bing Bong, and Bing Bong follows the merchant into the Bing Bong. Hey. So you said. Uh, <laughs> you said what? Three points of pun Five damage. Of pun damage. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, Zucchini. The merchant marked where this place was on the map. Could you mark it on this map? Sure. I can do that. It is... So it was north, so I'm guessing it's around this G, or this L. It's only one day. Right here. Oh, right, so... Oh, okay. Sweet. Okay, so we travel until we get there, obviously. All right, you arrive at the temple, and you see an overgrown building sunk into the ground, covered by a tree. Hmm. Dart, scout it out. Uh, I, 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 uh, are we going in or no? Is Dart gonna go in? Oh. Uh, scout out the entrance, make sure it, like Well I'm first gonna do a perception check to see what I see from where I'm what, mm. where I'm standing. Where are you standing? Yeah. <clears throat> at the entrance, I'm guessing. Okay. See I'm if I know that any... I'm about thirty feet from the entrance. Okay. And I'm guessing I'm at the same spot since we walked as a group. Perception, perception. Oh, there we go. Um, there we go. What do I see? You see a long corridor inside with several spikes sticking out of the walls that look like they've been jammed up with vines. Do they look like they're retractable? They do indeed. Can I roll a perception to see it as well? Sure. Could I, it's could I, um, use my knowledge? Everybody He's gonna tell us about okay. it, don't worry about it. I'm, okay. I'm going, I'm going to do there a knowledge engineering be... check. Okay. Don't you, um, can I do the... a engineering as well? If the structure, no, I said engineering. Oh, wait, oh. no, hang on, sorry. Yeah, I want to see if, uh, like, if the temple is constructed well, or if it looks like it's gonna fall, or all that stuff. Because it looks fall. safe. It looks safe enough. 
Could I do a knowledge dun um, dungeoneering check on the All these wall knowledge spikes rolls, and you're see? not going to ask the guy who's already been in there. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Well, I wanna... Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I didn't. I don't know that he said he didn't trigger off trigger some of the traps. So okay, I can't. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Bing Bong sir. says. Okay, go on. Uh, go ahead, Matt Lark. Right. Is is the structure safe? It was safe How enough old when is I this went building? in there. I, 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 I guess if a strong breeze hit it the wrong way, maybe. How long ago did you uh, visit this place? He says that he visited two weeks ago. I walk a little forward and see if I see any pressure. Not, I'm just walking to the entrance and seeing if I see anything that looks like a pressure plate. You Can I use a knowledge of engineering check on? Okay. Go for it. <coughs> okay. 25. You see several that are depressed. That look like they've already been triggered. Anyone said that? You don't see any others. Huh. Shala asks the merchant now to explain in detail and draw diagrams if necessary about all the traps <laughs> that he encountered, that he did or did not trigger those he went around, as well as, you know, she has some people. She says, go ahead and draw a map as well of the place. Okay. He says that there's a long corridor ending in a crypt. Well, you don't mind leading the way, do you? He said that he... He said, I'm not going in there. The don't policy. worry. No. Fuck. He's not going in there. Don't worry. But don't worry. Leave Intimidation! You should totally go with us, or else. <laughs> He's not going in there. Uh, I, but you did I agree to... Mark the trap, so Shaw says, describe in detail the traps you encountered. He tells you about and that well, he triggered and safely disarmed all the traps in the corridor leading to the to the um, to the crypt. But when he was in the crypt, the only trap he disarmed was the trap on the chest containing the sunstones. Okay, right, uh, let's go in, guys. Nira thinks the man. For his nope. willingness uh, to come along. I guess, I guess I can. He says, like, don't worry, have I got fun, and, and starts I'll... hiking away. <laughs> that guy's Before he goes, I do a sense more to make sure, oh, I believe him, he's telling the truth. <laughs> yep. So who's leading the way? I got this. I guess so. Okay. And I... Like, I've been in plenty of dungeons. This is going to be, like, a Uh, how dark is it? Uh, it's pretty dark, but there's some torches on the wall that you can light. I have I dark vision. Bagley likes torches. Yeah, but Bagley doesn't. I take, doesn't. Light. I I take light out light. my lantern and tie it to my belt. Okay. It's going to make your pants hot. Okay, I hold my lantern. That's what I thought. <laughs> <coughs> okay. You safely pass through the hallway, and you see this. So, is this the chest? That is indeed the chest. Oh, okay. Uh, okay let me do a percep though. Let me yeah, do a perception, perception check. check. Yeah. Why would anyone... What do I see with my 21? And what do I see with my 24? Uh, you see a large coffin in the middle of the room with a stone lid. I'm looking for any dangers, though. Uh, you don't see anything that would be immediately dangerous. You presume the coffin is, is trapped, though. What do I see with my 30 perception? About the same. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing, yeah. Okay, do is I see any... Is this a Is this a staff? <laughs> No, that's oh. the lid. It's a handle. I cast it's magic. You cast what? Okay. Detect, detect magic. magic. Um, you detect magic um, coming from inside the coffin. 
Uh, detect okay. magic can't go through stone. Oh, can it not? Then you don't. Then you don't sense nope. anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is there any inscriptions on the walls? There are indeed inscriptions on the walls. Shala, oh, look, uh, check out these inscription, these strange inscriptions on the walls. You're, uh, you're Shala described. Maybe them. you've seen them. Hmm. Kilroy was you. You see a, you see a <laughs> strange form of writing that some that involves dinosaur footprints. All right, so it's not any of the languages I know. I know common for Konek. Aklo, Dwarven, Elven, Halfling, Gnome, Sylvan, and Celestial. It's none of those languages. Alright, one moment then. <coughs> one moment. Is it Terran or Polyglot? Nope. I'm going to Nira, have to Nira use her linguistic skill. Nira looks inside these pots for anything of interest. Mm, I'm going to use her so Inside the pots you find ash. Hmm. Alright, Zucchini... Here's how uh, linguistics works. You can decipher writing in an unfamiliar language or a message written in an incomplete or archaic form. The base DC is 20 for the simplest message, 25 for standard text, and 30 or higher for intricate, exotic, or very old writing. So what I'm going to have Shala do is she's going to suggest that she examines the writing for one hour before we do anything, just to be safe. And she's got a plus 11 to linguistics. So she's going to take 20 with her 31 linguistics, which means she should meet the check for, even if it's the intricate, exotic, or very old writing, the difficulty check for deciphering that's only 30. So Shala okay. takes an hour to decipher the writing on there. Um, the writing speaks of <laughs> an underground city. It was very wealthy and very technologically uh, advanced. And it speaks of the sunstones being used as power sources for some kind of machines. Machines, my god. Okay, uh... <laughs> Shala tells the group about what she learns. Does um, it tell anything more specific than that? Uh, it says this, that the city was the entrance to the city was hidden, but one who bears the sunstone can find the entrance to the lost city using a method that you did, that it doesn't mention. Okay. Uh, while that uh, while she's deciphering all that, Bing Bong asks Lindis if she would like to play a game of dice. Linda says sure. <coughs> Okay, hold on. Um, zucchini, mm -hmm. are all of the pots filled with ash? All of them are filled with ash. Okay, I mentioned that uh, to the group. So I use quite, a... Go ahead. Well, seems uh, quite interesting that all of these pots are filled with ash. Can I um, identify what the walls are made of, just in case? Stone. What type of stone? Gray stone. Yeah. The same stone that could I, uh, is made is in the uh, can I, I see how, hazard, how hazardous oh. is this location. Mm, I, take ten, I take 10, which gives me a 20. Okay. Seems solid? Yep. Yeah. What's uh, going on with uh, this wall over here? Um... It's slightly collapsed, and a few of the bricks are falling down. Is there Ping a bong. hole? Nope, there's just earth behind it. Okay. Uh, Bing Bong asks if Lindis would like to put money on it. Lindis mm -hmm. has money? Does Lindis, Lindis have money of, of, of her own? She can take out uh, a not really shop. Linda asks right. Shaw about Shaw says... You can go ahead and bet up to 10 gold. Go ahead. Zucchini. Mm. What is up with uh, the staff on top of the stone coffin? It's not a staff. It's a rope. It's used as like a handle to move it. Okay. While everyone's doing that, I'm going to use trap finding on the room. Okay. Um, I'm 
What about nice. this, um, this Dio, vase I was you, talking about? You Sorry. see a trap <coughs> that has been disabled on the chest, and you think that there's a trap on the coffin lid. Okay. I tell everyone to not touch the coffin. Is it trapped? Oh, understood. Yep, it's trapped. Oh. What about this vase? Jeannie, did you see that? I did. Okay. Is there a way I can, or can I use disabled device on it, or is it one that can't be disabled? Uh, you can try, if you want. Okay, okay. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. <clears throat> Tack, who is over here, oh, I am over here, accidentally triggers the trap. Got Yay! Son of a bitch. Shoot. Okay. <coughs> when this happens, um, six panels on the wall slide down to reveal Tuck, what did you do? I tried to disable you all that Boom. I'm having an off day today. Ambush round. Huh, they're uh, so cute. Oh shit. Skelly Skeletons? Things. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Zucchini. What? You know how initiative and surprise rounds work, right? There's one round and then everybody rolls initiative. Uh, no. We get a perception check, and if we roll high enough, we get to act during the surprise round. Okay. okay. Don't fail me now. Yes. My perception is weak. Oh, wait. Are we rolling perception? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I, I blinked out. <coughs> Okay. Bing Bong and Vago are like. What the hell? Bing Bong was not there. She is now. She wasn't. <laughs> Why wouldn't she be now? She wasn't there either. She wasn't there. Linus would be okay. next to Shala. Uh, I guess, unless Linus, what, the dice scene was Bing Bong a could doing the deciphering, Bing and after that, Linus, Linus would right have been there. standing next to Linus Shala. Linus is right there. Yeah, and Bing I'll admit I was over here because I was going to check next to Shala. Yeah, but the dice I'll admit I'm over here because I was because I was going to check this vase. Yep. Well, well, the dice is still there. going. Everybody is where they are right now. All right, those of you who didn't fail that perception check, roll the mission. What was the check roll? Uh, yeah, what did they have to get? They you have didn't to get roll a, a stealth check for them. All right. <coughs> Everybody's in. Hooray! So the panels are very loud. loud. Yeah, the panels are obviously extremely loud. Yep. It's an old tomb. They grate and make a huge squeaky noise. Alright, here, so let weird. me roll my initiative. 18. Uh, and oh, Zucchini, did you... Zucchini, did you tell Swift the thing about the perfect strike? No, I did not. Swift, your perfect mm -hmm. strike can only be used once per round, and you can only use it six times a day. Okay, sorry about that. It's all right. Now, what he means is he can you can only re-roll one of your arrows. Yeah. I know. Okay. I did, I did not know yeah. that. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Oh, we just assumed that you misread it. Well, I rolled that. Like... No, Holy one... crap. <laughs> the worst rolls ever. This is this is the second worst ambush round in history. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first? You ever is, heard of a is... tester? Yeah. Is the is the is the coffin still closed? <clears throat> the coffin is indeed still closed. Yeah, okay, so just stand right next now. to it. I'm sure everything will be fine. Jump into it. <laughs> Jump on I was it. Gonna, 
I was going to jump over it. Um, um. You can try. Okay. Whose turn is it first? Oh, look, it's Mary's Wait, wait, wait. What, what? Zero? I entered. That's Bago with zero. Yeah. I was also was zero. Bago got you 19. You can you higher than me. <laughs> Okay, there I'm we go. <laughs> it is my turn first. Yes, it is. What the hell? It's times uh, like this, I wish we had it. Oh. What, Zucchini? Mm -hmm. No, sorry. Okay, this one gets to go first. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> We're going to... Oh, can I cast a uh, knowledge check to see if I know what they are? Sure, that'll be knowledge. Dungeoneering. Dungeoneering. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Since we're technically in a dungeon. Awesome. Don't fail us now, Nira. Shala fails. Shala failed. Everyone, give me a will save. Oh, shit. A will save? A will save. A Sorry. will save. You hear a screeching roar from this from this one right here. Well, I feel... Uh, oh, is that supposed to be a feed effect? Probably. Well, no, it, it's not probably because it... I need to know because it doubles my will save if um, it's a fear effect. Yeah. No, it's not a fear... Well, is shaking a fear effect? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then it is a fear. Ugh. Oh. Okay, I didn't pass. Yeah, I didn't either. Hang on, let me get these botches out of the way now, guys. Oh fuck. Okay, so we oh. only get to everyone act, do except one Nira. Is... I haven't walled yet. Yeah. I'm going e to everyone except Nira. <coughs> is shaken for 11 rounds. Oh my oh. gosh. Holy and what does shaken oh, do? That's just terrible. Wait, wait, wait. What does shaken do? You can only do one action per round. That's not actually what shaken does. Isn't it? It's, uh. Hold on. Oh, no. Minus two penalty on attack roll. Saving throws, skill checks. And a few other things. And ability checks. That's it's what Lindus is well oh. safe. Oh, anyway, do I have any idea what they are? Uh, which, which I think I rolled a 19. Are you 19? A 19. Okay, uh, you think that they are undead. Okay. Can I do, can I do a dungeoneering roll? you like um wouldn't that be obvious to everybody that they're undead yeah they're skeletons okay, so. they're undead dinosaurs that's what you mean all right well i suppose it, uh, right? it's it's fitting that we would find undead dinosaurs in a tomb of the dinosaur king well this isn't his tomb what was oh, oh. Related to the dinosaur king. Yeah. <coughs> Who killed all these birds? I know. It's Shala's turn. Alright. Shala is going to immediately run over he here. And I then. I realized these dinosaurs definitely don't have feathers. No, they don't. No. She's going to cast. Haste on everyone she can, which hmm. I, th let's see, I think no two can be third, more than thirty feet apart. So I th think she's going to miss. Yeah, she misses tack and dot with the haste. Uh, she misses. 
bag I, or Nira as well. One of them. Bag or Nira. It can only be cast in one direction. Well, it's more as that those. It can be cast like in any one it can, it, within the, a certain the area, area, but the area no can two be people in, can be yeah. no two more people than can 30 be. feet okay. apart. So, Bago or Nero? She's going to go ahead and get Bago with this one. Okay, she so can maybe Nira try to get the other three with a Nira haste in the future. Nero, Dart, and Tack are not hasty. Okay. Wait, actually, no. Shala's going to... Uh, wait, I probably already called it too you late. You already called it. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah. Bago... You kind of already declared it. Yeah, all right. She casts haste on Bago. everyone. Okay. Uh... Is there light, any light, so can he see these things? Or? You got you have um, a torch. Dart has a, oh, yeah. a lantern, and you have a torch. Right, so that would be 30 feet range on them, yeah? Yeah, so you can't see where they are. except for You that. can see this one, is. Yeah. yeah. I also have lo I have low light vision, <coughs> but that's doubled. Yeah. My range. All right, okay. You can see everything in the room. Well, then... Bago is going to throw the torch on the ground and okay. draw his swords because he's dumb that way. Okay. <laughs> and oh. then he's going. Oh yeah, you have one more action. Right? Yeah, and then he's going to move to here and brace because shit's gonna go wrong. <laughs> okay. Big man's turn. It is my turn, isn't it? Uh, da, 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 da. And you said that was a fear effect, right? Yes, it is. It is. Can it get worse? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I will. My turn. Okay. Your uh. turn. Alright, um, I can take a step back as part of the turn, right? Uh, we can take a step back. It's a free action. Okay. Oh, a five or a ten? <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. I mean, you could move even. You could move over here and still cast a spell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Fireball. Nice. I don't know oh, if fireball. Way go. I think. I don't. I think fireball has two, like. One of the, oh, actually, no, I could It's a 20 foot. It it, you could just cast it on this right. guy right here, and you won't <laughs> hit any of us. Okay. I'm on a stone tomb. And it would, hit, yeah, it would. Yeah, and we're in a stone tomb. Yep. Okay. Okay. And right. then I cast fireball on this guy and shout, Fuego! Alright. <laughs> Shut up. It's fun. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's fun. Seven plus D six. Mm, that's wrong. Uh, wrong. Uh, it's a D seven. D take oh. the plus out, not Lark. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's right. I did it. I put it as a macro, but I did it wrong. Yeah, you, you messed your macro up. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's very. I think it, it's just seven D yeah, six. Shut up. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's try that again. It's okay. There we go. It's on you. That's better. Reflex Fire. saves, Zucchini. Ah, uh, reflex saves. I think Bago can see him all now, too. Yes, he can. <laughs> yes, because there's fire everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> One pass. One's taking half damage. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I got to tap. Okay, so this one. Mm -hmm. So, how about them Yanks? Okay. All right, now it's my turn. Or is it? 
Yes, no, yeah, it's just done. Well, One well, left side, uh, bing bong goes. I can take mine now, <laughs> but I'm not going to. Hmm. Okay, this one is going to... Nah. Shoot. I have this one is going to use casket. clobbering charge. Uh, the casket's 15 feet tall. No, not 15 feet. So, so that one can't see me. Ten feet. You only right? see a light. Yeah, he can't see you. Oh. Only the light. He's gonna use clobbering charge on Nero. Uh, does that trigger an attack of opportunity going by Lindis or? It does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. <coughs> All right. Uh, uh, one of them hits. No, oh. I didn't. I haven't rolled them yet. Sorry. Was, yeah, I, I just realized. And oh, she misses. There's also a minus one to that because of yeah. the combination mm -hmm. of haste and. Not only that, but doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's a minus three to it because of the fear of it. Would no haste is a plus one, and the fear is a minus two, oh, so it's okay. a minus one total. All right. Okay, I'm gonna roll through the. Uh, no. Yay! Missed. Missed. Yeah. Thank Earth's goodness. Turn. Okay. So you said this casket is ten feet tall? Ten feet tall. Okay, I'm gonna jump on top of it. Give me an acrobatics check. Hmm. I could technically spend the point of key to make that an instant plus twenty. On top like. of my plus fifteen, if you like, yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't want to mess up. I spend a point of key to get up there. All right, you're on top. It's like okay, and I fire an arrow. This guy, just one arrow. Well, doesn't that that jump spend my move? Oh yes, it does. That is cool. And I cannot flurry a blow, so. Alright, roll the hit. No. Ah, oh, is that enough? Nope. Okay. I just Which realized how ridiculous it is that that cast would be ten feet tall. I'm changing that. It's five feet tall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that'd yeah. be a very, very large casket. It's not. That doesn't make any sense. Could be for a large creature. <laughs> well, considering I, that the casket's not, thirty knowing... feet long. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. It's more of a... Okay, I'm taking my turn. All right. All right. I'm going to cast Lightning Barrier Boost. What does that do? Uh, it makes a wall of lightning for 120 feet. And I choose Ooh. to do it. It's going to hit everything on this uh, line. And there's 50. And then there's 85. And there's 120. <laughs> I hit everything. I thought it had to be on the one single line. You couldn't no. It can zigzag nope, as much as it wants. Oh. <coughs> it can zip oh off curve. So fuck your ha uh, house. Give me a roll. <laughs> what roll? Uh, reflex for half damage. Yeah. Well, don't you have to roll to? No, I'll oh, roll because no, you have to roll damage for them. Oh, good thing. Damage. Oh, by the way, good thing I missed that because I realized they're skeletal, and that would have done none, no damage because they didn't announce I was using a blunt arrow. Mm -hmm. You you would still have done damage. It's just the yeah, five DR for it. Okay, Same. how many passes, Jason? Jason, you rolled. Oh yeah, there are six. Okay, uh, four of them pass. Okay, and two of them fail. So I'll say 
Like the first well, two, well, that kind of thing uh, I'm, I'm doing it from, from left to right to yeah, the bottom. Do them it. Do them in order of left when they're right. hit with the wall. Well, I'm in order of when they're hit. So, so I'm going to say these one, two right this one fail, fail. Yeah. and then the rest of them pass. <coughs> okay. So hold on. let me roll damage, and that's going to be 6d6. Come on. Okay. 24. That's not bad. Okay. So this one... Wait. When can I this learn one. this wonderful spell? Next time you take a feat, you can take words of power. Or not words of power, but... Uh, Wood casting. Wood casting. Yeah. yeah. You need to take uh, experimental spellcaster. Okay. Oh, that's it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And as they move through it, they also get to roll another reflex save. What? For paralyzation? It, la- it lasts for a whole round, Zucchini. So they, re- you they should, jumped. You into should it. probably have drawn the lane. If they go through it, they take damage again. Okay. You should. Oh yeah, you should probably draw, draw a line, line Jason. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Yay, one is. is dead. There. There. So one of them is mostly through it. Yep. Okay. But if he moves... And the ones that but the reflex saves did jump through. Right? Yep. But this guy right here is going to be on this side of it. And if he wants to get to me, he's got to run through it. Okay. Twice. No, no, let's run through it once. Yep. Because that's... Oh, and look, Dart and Tack are on the other side of it. Sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> that no. sucks. And okay. this guy right here, if he stays in it, he also takes damage. Okay, and that's my turn. Well, he's probably going to be dead soon. How anyway, high because... is this wall of, le- oh, wall of electricity? 20 feet. Uh, it, it's to the ceiling, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's to the ceiling. Okay, I was going to see if I could jump and over this, it. No. There's a four attack. My add subtract one from each of those walls. Okay. How many hit this guy? Uh, Lindis is hasted, so she gets another attack. Or that's taking into account the haste. She only gets four oh. attacks without haste. Two hits. Right. And so claws do blunt damage in addition to. Uh, Slashing, so it can get through the damage reduction. So, how much slashing damage and how much blunt damage? It's just as it can do either damage, and she so she smacks them. So it's basically the formation of her fists. You can have her claws or yeah. So she does eighteen physical damage and five acid damage. Okie dokie. Points we total to this guy. All right, it's my turn. That guy's dead. Ah, uh, that's not enough to kill him. I was hoping twenty-three would be enough to kill him with the lightning damage. All right, this guy's going to. This guy's going to go for Bago. Is he? Yeah, he is. What a surprise! Yeah. Also, what a mistake of the mica. <laughs> uh, you were braced, weren't you? Mm-hmm. He's gonna use fossilize. Uh-oh. That does not sound good. What's your touch AC? Higher than that. <laughs> okay. Oh, this kind of insulting. It starts at ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I yeah, you have to have major penalties for him to get hit by that. Okay. <clears throat> this guy's going for attack. He's going to charge in and attack. 
Uh, he's the attacking tack. Uh, I got tack, tack. something to ask. Is a twenty-five pounds? Is a twenty-five pound chain shirt considered light armor? No. Yes. Chain shirt is light. Chain shirt okay. is light. It doesn't matter okay. how much it actually weighs. It's what class it's in. Okay. Then I use evasion. Okay. Uh, I thought evasion is passive. Yeah, I thought that was passive. Mm -hmm. It is passive. Yeah, it's a passive ability. But which applies when you hit by like, spells. It only applies for, like, AoE stuff. Mm -hmm. and that well, I think that misses it. Oh. All right. this oh wait, this guy. Oh wait, never mind. He wasn't moving through. This guy Adoy. is to attack Dirk. <clears throat> and he's going to use fossilize as well. He's going to use a touch attack on the monk. Yeah, it's not a very smart. And skeleton. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know any better. Nope. It's a skeleton. No Next shit. Alright, I pull I pull out my Up pistols. Step. Up foot step. Uh, step back. Okay, I take a flight foot step back, then pull out my pistols. Attack of opportunity. And I yell, go. Uh, I think it. I did five foot step back. Ten foot reach. Ah, shit. Ah, I thought it was a ten foot reach. I just didn't know. But now we know! Eighteen. Or let me. Uh, that no, that doesn't hit. Does not hit. Okay. No, I have twenty-three. All right, I pull out. I pull out my pistols and say, "Gungala, gungala, gungala." No. Oh, yeah, I just shouted that when she attacked. You didn't. <laughs> yeah, I just shouted gungala, gungala, too. Okay. So yes. that, and I, I yeah, I, do, I am dual wielding, so I, I have two shots. So that's that did not hit. And look at the other one. Are you yeah. sure that's right? Uh, that might that because can't I, be right, dude. I have I a negative guess. two because of the roar. And you have a negative two on dual wheeling. Yeah. Okay, hold on. But yeah, but that's only for your offhand, not your yeah, main Yeah, the hand. negative two is only on the offhand. Oh, then that's a six. Then it still doesn't hit. It doesn't hit. You have two weapon fighting, yeah? Yeah. Are okay, pistols light weapons? Yes, or, I think. Yeah, they can take weapon. no penalty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it's an exotic fire. Oh, it's, it's exotic. exotic. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's a ranged roll weapon. Ranged one. weapons aren't Cash. light weapons. Roll the other one. No. Oh, my. Nope, neither hit. That's not fun. Well, you're within the first range increment, so they are on touch AC. Are these yeah. large creatures? Uh, hang on a second. You're on touch AC? Yeah. With the revolver. Yeah. yeah, gunslinger, touch AC. All guns use the first range increment. Okay, yeah. Modern firearms use the first the five. First, the first one hits. Huh. Okay. And check the damage. D8. Okay. That D8 plus dex again? No. Uh, no. Just D8. Okay. Okay. Four. Hmm, okay. And it, it's and it does bludgeoning it, damage. Yeah. That's bludgeoning damage? Yeah. It casts it's bludgeoning and piercing. Okay. Alrighty then, my turn. This guy's gonna run up. To here. And use fossilize on Lindis. God, it must really suck to be in melee range of shit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And that definitely does not hit. Really he fossilizes himself. Today. If they ever hit, it would suck to be in range of them. Yeah. <laughs> I only wish I had another lightning wall prepared. Shall his turn. Alright, let me see. <clears throat> also, shouldn't I let. Oh, wait, it goes away once your turn goes around. Mm. Yeah, it, yeah, it, the, the it, it'll go away. No. So it's Pretty gone much. now? No, it's not gone now, no. It's, it's, well, it's not gone now. It'll be gone when I would have cast it. And so I didn't I, cast it until... Right, right before Lindus. Until, until just before Lindus. Okay. Yeah. 
so this guy will Sorry. still this guy will still take his full damage. If he doesn't move. Sorry, I forgot. Well, it, even if he moves through it, well, which no, would he, be him moving out of it, well, no, no. he still oh, takes he, damage. Hey, wait a minute, he passed a reflex save, so he was out already. So what save? Where was he, he going to stand? Uh, yeah, okay, so... He has no place... Oh. Okay. Hmm. That's fine. <laughs> Also, right. zucchini. If okay. you, uh, no, never mind. It if that's matter. the position, you can erase my thing then. Okay. But wait, Come wait. On. It's still, it's still there, right? It's still there. It's yeah. still there. Yeah. But that could be important because Linda, uh, Shala is going to create a pit. Where? It's. Go one second. Right there. So two of them. Right where? Oh, where's John? Yeah. Drew yes. I drew okay. it. Uh, maybe the squad ant. Uh, they no, get I like a. It. They get a reflex save. By the way. Yeah, they get a reflex save to jump to safety, but the edges of the pit are not safe. Meaning, for example, a safety position for this guy would be like right here through the lightning wall. Or, you know, here. Can he jump or over Shala? No, I mean, not show really. Umpto over Nila like that? That's a pretty far jump back, but okay, maybe. Well, if, he, if he jumps here, or he'll. Here too. I go get some attack. He can go here. Here. Yeah. Yep. Alright. So, anyway. Yeah. But yeah. Will we flex? Alright. That, both, they both fail. Okay. I think. We see. Oh, actually, uh, we do have to. It's sixteen is the save difficulty. Yeah, no, that one okay. is so uh, maybe one of them six, one makes it. One of them passes. All right, this guy's over here. And that one is the one that you know. Okay. Yeah. How much uh, damage does he take for thirty feet of falling damage, Jason? Three D six. Three D six. Right, so that. 3d6 bludgeoning damage. So. 12 damage. So he. Oh. Well, that's just unfortunate for him. Mm hmm. It's Bago's turn. On the way to go. Bago is going to. Mm, hit that thing with his swords. Okay. Because he's good at that. Let's see, it's and minus ones. It. Yeah. Minus one, he gets three attacks at full base. Don't forget the minus two from the thing. It's minus one because he's hasted. Haste's a plus oh, one. Right. See, I've already accounted for that. Three hits. Those are all. Yeah. yeah. And then the offhand one. No, not the offhand one. But the second attacks are at minus. Yeah. Actually, no, it's minus five because it's just five off that one. I should have been able to work that out much easier than. Anyway, do do. Uh, the minus five. What are you talking about? Because he has an extra attack for having base attack bonus six one. Oh okay. See, yeah. that's normally, but he has two swords. Okay. <coughs> and haste, and defeat that lets him use two. Only one of those. Hits. Anyway. Yeah. Right. So that's four hits. Four hits. That's D ten plus. Don't roll them all together. I'm gonna roll them separate, yeah. Good. But yeah, that was power attack as well. So it's D ten plus twelve. You didn't call that before the attack. I rolled it as power attack though. Oh you did, okay. Alright. So, yeah. I think I could have saved power attack. Be no, I didn't say power attack, but I rolled it as power attack because it should actually be plus twelve to hit without power attack. Yep. You might as well just imply, uh, just go ahead and assume he's going to use power attack unless yeah, every fucking otherwise. time. Yeah. yeah. I don't he's think that do would not every time. So yeah, four hits: one, two, three, four. Eighteen, thirteen. Well, no, hold on. Fifteen. 
Yeah, uh, do you know what? You can work that out yourself. Do it yourself. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Well, just add them it, together and the, deduct the, the yarn. Add them together and then deduct 20. <laughs> Not that it really matters. Because he had, like, what? 20 health left, maybe? More. Well. Okay. Well, he doesn't have 20 health left now. It's Bing Bong's turn. He did. Oh, it's my turn. What to do, what to do. I move here. You're doing a lightning bolt. You'll have, you can't go through that um, casket. I'm guessing. Yeah, you need. It's go. five feet high. Five foot high. These things. Are, the, these are five stairs. Foot tall. Oh. Okay, oh, they're stairs. Look at them. They're stairs. Oh, they are. They are shaded. They do have shading. Yeah. yeah they the shading shading. I didn't, the yeah, I I didn't notice the shading. Okay, so I'll move back here, and. I'm gonna cast burning hands here. Whoop. Okay. Automatic hit, right? Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> Just think it's a reflex save. Yes, it does. Reflex save for half damage. Mm -hmm. It failed. And it failed. Eleven damage. Excellent. Fire! Fire! Yeah, fire! Fire! <laughs> And uh, I don't know. Nearest turn. <coughs> hey, um, is this lightning wall coming down anytime soon? Oh yes, uh, down. Yeah, it's, down uh, it's, not, yeah. it's not down yet. Yeah, it well, it'll go down. down yet. Yeah. It'll no, go he, down he, after he dark. Cast it after All right, yeah. Dark. All right, I hold my turn. Okay. Okay. Dark. Okay, I fire. Um, Three arrows at this this Four. person. Blunt air. Bl blunt. I fire three arrows at at um, this skill to all blunt arrows. All deadly deadly aim, and the last one I'm going to make a precise strike. Okay, the last one. Yeah. Um. I mean a perfect strike. Perfect. Perfect strike. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Okay, I take a. Remember, you take a minus, minus. two. Yes, I know. So that. And then roll two for the last one. One hit. These are. Okay. And this is a blunt arrow. Yep. Okay, minus two, so that's 13. Yep. Wait, 13. Remember what we talked about last week? Oh, yes. 13. That's right. Okay, so. Alright. Melinda's turn. The wall is now down. Alright, I take my turn. I. I take. Oh, I take a five foot step here. Uh, you you don't need to take a five foot step. Oh. oh yeah, he's was, dead. Guess, There's nothing around nothing you that's dead. Yeah, that's oh, is, this, is this okay? This thing isn't. All right, never mind. Then. Yeah, yeah, the big X. I don't take the step. Okay. Then. What? The big, you see the big X? No, no, no. The other one by Shala. No, you're not in no, range. no, no, it's... Right. Yeah, you're not in range. And I shoot a fireball here. If I can... Where? Oh. If I can hold. Right here. And so... There you go. <laughs> okay, you're only going to hit one of them. No. The other, the other one's standing nope, behind the she's going to hit two. No, because it's an air bust. Yeah, it's an air burst. Oh. It would burst like and go into an an orb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if there's any damage to be done to this casket, it would do damage to the casket. Like if this casket has a low melting point with that stone, it it would probably have a hole in it. 
Okay. Oh crap. Hopefully the casket doesn't have a low milking point. I'm out of range. Please tell me I'm out of range. Yeah, you, you are, are out of yeah, range. Yeah. I made sure that you were out of range. Of course you're out of range. Okay. Neo is not homicidal. No. Let me run. No, you're in range. No. Uh, I'm pretty sure those both pass. Yeah, they uh, yeah. Half damage? Yeah. Yeah, half. Yeah. Uh, it sucks. Still a useful spell. <clears throat> How many fireballs do you throw per day? <laughs> okay, and when you, you when like you fire the four. fireball, it blows the lid off of the casket. Uh, there's no force behind it. Is there not? Fuck. No, it's not no, force, no force. It's fire. Mm. It's just yeah. fire. No, there's not like a backdraft or anything. Yeah. All right, well, there would be, but it would be strong enough to move stone. It doesn't. <laughs> well, thank you. It's Lindis' turn. Thank you. Yeah, for it may, if if it has, if the casket lid has a low melting point, it may have just been welded shut. By it's the way. granite. It doesn't. We got some high strain. <laughs> <laughs> it's granite. It doesn't have a low melting point. All right, Lance takes a five foot step, makes five attacks again, minus mm -hmm. one. Think at least two of those hit, maybe three. That would be an attack of up three hit. Wait, uh, no, uh, no, it's no, a five foot step, child. It three hit. hits. Three hits. Ice three hit. And once again, using. Okay. And she does 27 damage to this one right here. 27. With only one, she's. Yep. 20, uh, 20 blunt, 7 acid. Okay. That's terrible. Alright. Dead. Dead. Alive. <laughs> okay. It's gonna attack. And she the... shouts out Gungla again. <laughs> that doesn't no. As a free action, Bing Bong says, please stop shouting that. God damn it, I'm wrong. I'm right what shit. does it even mean? <laughs> I don't know. Ask Bago. It's tax turn. Uh, I I can uh, see that nope. over here, over the casket, right? Uh, hey, you can shoot at this one attacking Linda. How tall are you? Uh, five feet. No, you can't. The casket right, attacks I'll, you. I'll just shoot at that one. Okay. Roll okay. hit. Is okay, that, is that on know? touch AC from this distance? Uh, uh, dude, dude, move up 20 feet so you're in the first range inc increment. What? Okay. It's pistols, yes, yeah. 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 Yeah, just let base pistols all twenty foot range, I think. Okay. Right here. Okay. But doesn't he he have yeah. to reload? Give me a reflex save. Uh, uh they're revolvers. Oh shoot. Oh they're revolvers. They're, 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 pist they're pistols. They're pistols. So yeah. Give I'll me have a reflex reload. save. Yeah. Uh, okay. What's the uh dice challenge on that pit? He made it. 16. You made it. Okay. Oh, holy crap. Oh, plus. That close. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <sighs> Roll the hit. Sure, right, I could also just dispel it. Uh, I didn't know I could dispel the free action. I, but I do that is now. Is reloading a free possible. action or is that a turn? Is reloading uh, a, a full turn? Uh, uh, he, has, he has uh, flintlocks, so. Do you have flintlocks? Yeah. It's like two turns. Do you have rapid? Yeah, you, you have rapid. No, it's like um, flintlocks. Do you have rapid reload? I play the gunslinger, so um, yeah. ta um, ta do you have rapid reload? He doesn't have rapid reload. No, he doesn't. It's two turns. Okay. Yeah. That's All a standard right, so. action. That's a standard action. And so you can't fire. Okay. All right. All right. Damn it, Tack! Uh, All right. It's my turn. This one's gonna attack Shella. <coughs> Is it gonna use fossilize? Mm, well, Lindus yes, would get is. an attack of opportunity on that then. Yes, it is, and Lindus does. Yep. That hits. That doesn't. Nice. Okay, give me a fortitude me save. 
Uh, Wait, what did you roll? You didn't roll anything. He yeah. did. He rolled a 19 for a touch attack. Oh, oh yeah. that, that. Give I me a that fortitude save. There's one thing I want to check well quickly. I would not be looking at the sheet for fossilized because that'd be nice. No, not that. I'm just uh, double checking. Uh, because of Linda's. Um, shaking gives a minus two on saving swells, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. But Linda's shield ally gives her a plus two on saving swells. Okay. So that means that it's plus four. That makes it a 16 then? And this is on Shallow. Well, I haven't rolled. Oh, it's for shot. And I, uh, I'm gonna use a hero point on that. Okay. Would a 17 make it, or do I need, or should I make a hero point to be roll? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna use a one hero point to re roll instead, and go ahead and use a hero point on the re roll to add 10 to that. So okay. 22. You indeed. Did you just use both your hero points? He did. Yep. Well, all right. I don't know what the st and if there's any way to like undo fossilize. I don't that we have now. I don't know of. It I sounds pretty nasty. Something. Oh, mm -hmm. if I didn't know, I wouldn't have been so. Well, how would you know? know it's if pretty, I had... as pretty nasty. Did you look it up? I can yeah, tell, but the many you said. No, you said you it uses fossilized. Yeah, I said it uses fossilized. It didn't say it uses fossilized. Yes, the 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 creature without uh, that is an undead is like I use fossilized. Now let me touch you. <laughs> okay, but game. hill points are by its very nature hill points are who work things yeah. of effort that help you in situations you can use where you might point. need it. I'm just saying you were Wait. looking at the fossilized page, weren't you? No, actually, I didn't. I promise I did not look it up. Okay. I just put the name. I'm just reminded, I'm, I'm reminded of the episode. I'm reminded of the episode. I'm reminded of the episode of Jackie Chan I just Adventures where. I assumed Fossilize was a fortitude, but is it? Because it sounds like it a fortitude, fortitude thing. Yes. It is fortitude. I said okay. fortitude. Matt, S Swift was saying I, something. Sorry. What were you saying? I just remind. It, whenever I hear that, it just reminds me of the episode of Jackie Chan Adventures where Jackie is given the poison, the, the poison that's going to turn them into stone. Mm. And during part of part of the episode, that his, might just his, have um, happened. Have, do we have one day to get the antidote? Like no. in that episode? No. Okay, it's Shala's turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. is going to. Would that thing with his ten foot reach be able to reach Shala if she was standing here? Let's is that more than ten feet away? No, Let's it isn't. See, uh... Yes. And it would be able to reach her even past Lindus and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well then. Shaw is going to take a five foot step, and then maybe nail the five foot step, get away, and tells Bagold with his free action to smack it. Okay, it's Bagold's turn. S smack. Bagold's gonna charge it and smack it. Okay. Because <laughs> he's good at that. Roll to hit. Yep. Bring up my dice thing. Plus ten, oh, three times. And power attack, just, you know, because you want me to declare it every time. <laughs> Apparently now, Stop we're doing this. No, it is passive aggressive. One, it is two, a declarative three. thing. This isn't passive aggressive, I'm hitting it with my swords. This is all aggressive. This is actively <laughs> aggressive. Two hits. I meant before <laughs> Come on, Taz. <laughs> and, uh, one, two. Nineteen is a possible crit, so that's no, because I... Clicked them twice to attack, yeah. so the other attack is also a possible crit. Does that one go through? No. Ah, well. So that's four hits. That is indeed four hits. Yeah, don't, just don't really bother. Don't bother. Don't bother. Right, okay. <laughs> Yay! There's one more left, by the way. 
Yeah, th there is one more left, but Swift's got this. Yeah, My turn. Right. Yeah, but you can't see it. I can hear the sounds of battle. <laughs> Ah. There, I think. Lightning bolt. What's that? Okay. Yay. Yeah, I'm not gonna roll, roll. reflex. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna roll damage. Instead. I think it had like six hit points or something. Okay, I it get off the one cop, cop in it. Oh, it had one! Oh! That's, that's less than six. I call to everyone to ask if they're okay. I'm fine, and I pick up my yeah, three arrows. Yeah, we're good. I pick up, I pick up my arrows that I used. Okay. Right, the um, touched was, her you noticed and the tried one to do something strange to her. At the, the one of the misses that you shot over but, here has shattered the arrow. Ah. Oh well, they're okay. Uh, I throw it aside. If was anyone hit with fossilize? Uh, Shaw says, "I was hit with something. I didn't. I don't know what it was, but was that my wait? Can I ask you something? Was that, something? Was that, that my strange. first non-blunt arrow or a blunt arrow? Non-blunt. Okay. Okay. So I assume I was. Shaw says." I'm going to roll Knowledge Arcana to see if uh, I can figure out what kind of attack these things had. Okay. You think they might just have turned the same. to stone? Okay, is that a disease, Zucchini? Uh, roll Nier. I'm going to wait for Nier as well. Okay. No, it's not a disease. Okay. So, flesh to stone. Is that what we're dealing with? No. You, you just want me to read <laughs> so you, you, the, you want me to read you the fossilized thing? You can link it to me, dude, if I would know about it. I'm not fucking look. I didn't look it okay. up. Um, you think it's a magical attack that would have turned her to stone. That's all you know. Oh, so she resisted it is what I'm... Yeah. You right. think she resists you. Okay. I, I tell her I think she'll be okay, and I ask anybody if they need any healing. Nope. No, I'm, I'm fine. fine. Thank you. Uh, I don't think anyone suffered any physical damage in that battle. Hey, guys, say sorry about that. That was my bad. I wander over to the casket to mm -hmm. see if there's any damage due to my fireball. Nope, it's made of granite. The ropes of it seem. Bago, lift the lid. Bago lifts the lid. Um, Linda's helps. He, he tears away the rest of the trap that was set there. Okay. And inside, you what's see inside? An inscription and nothing else. Okay, what's it say? Or is it in language it, it, we can it, read? It says, "Guess who prepared the explosive runes today?" <laughs> 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 No, it doesn't say that. It's in the language you can't read. Uh, Shala goes over. Uh, yeah. uh, do I need to take a full hour to decipher it again? You can just uh, well, give us a roll you, and then uh, if you want to see if you can figure it out fast. Well, I'm guessing she, she, I'm guessing it's the same language on the walls, so doesn't she get a bonus for that? That's plenty. Right. Um, inside are instructions on how to use the sunstone to find the lost city. Detailed instruction. And well, how do we do okay. that? At dawn Shall each morning, at first down. light, at first light each morning, you have to hold the sunstone up in the sunlight, and it will retract the light in the direction of the lost city. I tell that to the group. So, huh. at dawn each morning, mm -hmm. you hold the sunstone up to the light, and it reflects the light in the direction of the lost city. Mm -hmm. huh. What time is it? It's 11. Or 8 for you, I guess. No, he means no, what, in the game. Like, what oh, time in the, at, in the game? Um, 
Yeah, it's, it's past late, dawn. Late evening. Also, also it is eleven for me. So it's late evening. Where'd you get eight oh. from? I thought you were on so the. So it's west late side. evening. <sighs> okay. Uh, Bing Bong look, uh, looks around the rest of the, to uh, the tomb to look for anything valuable. Take twenty. Yeah. Um, it's very. I do the over. same. The, the merchant has Shall taken uses, everything uh, of value. So you yeah, detect any... magic. As well. Yeah, detect magic on the uh, on the uh, thing. Oh, right. Detect magic. Yeah. Also, can we take the uh, inscriptions with us? No, they're carved into the bottom of the stone. Inside, Shala. inside the, the casket, you see four sunstones and one very strange-looking key. What's well, the key? Uh, does it look Doesn't like, like the key you already key. have? It looks like the key you already have, but it looks like it might be able to interlock. It. I pick it up. Mm -hmm. Wait, who had the key? Shala has it right now. Tell me, is right. this a gem? Shala, do you, do you still have no, the key? No, that's part of the lid. Yeah. Yeah. She shows that to Nila. Um, I know it's part I, of the lid, but... Sorry. May, may I see it for a second? Sure. I try. I um, I try to see if they interlock. They do indeed. To form one full key. Yes. Yes. Yay! It's Voltron key. Like I said, is I know it's part of the lid, but is this a gem? No. It's just a piece of glass. I'm guessing. Yeah. It was it was melted by the fire. It's just. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I. I have a feeling this would be help. This key would be helpful. In, uh, well, we should take the rest of these stuns, sunstones with us. Yeah, just in case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we do something, dinosaurs. We get four times more dinosaurs to kill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do so any of the sunstones look different? Or do they all look exactly the they same? They all look exactly the, sta the same, sort of pale orange color in translation. Like okay. a fire stone in Pokemon. No. No. Like a, like a gemstone like in a Pathfinder. Like a pale orange translucent stone. Alright. Hmm. Well, well, let's just... head back to town, guys. Well, it's pretty late. Perhaps we should, uh... Camp out I'm not camping out in the tomb. Okay. Okay. Why are you guys? <laughs> Just gonna. Well, in the time we would. We're not camping out in here. We can go outside and camp. Yeah. Okay. That's safe. Uh, that's what I was going to suggest. <laughs> you guys who, are who was suggesting or us? Well, if it's in the evening, there's no way we would make it back to town. Yeah, like, we're just going to go outside and prepare yeah. camp. Alright. Yep. Okay. I think that's where we're going to stop for today. Alright. See, if we had camped out in the tomb and the sunstones did summon dinosaurs... We would kind of have like a place that we could defend. We would have a bottleneck. Yeah. 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 Are you really worried about that? Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. If it summons like, you know, twelve Allosauruses, then yes. We, okay. Here's what we'll do. We'll camp out at the entrance, just outside the entrance. So we can That's fall back saying. into the entrance. So we can if fall shaft. back. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. It's a good plan. So how much experience? All right, let me calculate that. Ben has neither Ooh. transcribed a scroll yet. For keep watch? Yeah. Um, I can do so now. I haven't really had a chance since... Like, she hasn't had a chance since... Yeah, yeah. What does that spell do? What? I just did 
1600 times 6 divided by 6. Gah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. did uh, you? Oh, I zucchini. Did no, I just did that. Maybe you should add up the roleplay experience, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no. that. yeah. Okay. I didn't take any damage. Good job. I did I. Neither did I. No one did. The only one who got hit was Shala, and that was by the fossilized attack. Yep. And I do pause. I did not look it up. Okay. It just <laughs> it sounded pretty nasty when you said fossilized. I play enough games to know that petrification is usually basically stint death. 1,800 experience. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Food. 19, uh, 29,190. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> and with that, we're done for the evening. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.